Bienvenidos, señoras y señores, to another episode of Los Torricolas Podcast, the show where we bring our unique ideas and stories to you, while sharing the same ground we all do. I'm your host, Greg, and with me as always is Oscar and Irvin, here in the EP Brand studio. We got a special guest, all right? His video, I Love My City, has 200,000 views on YouTube. But, but he's more than 30,000, fucker. Yeah, 20, like 230,000. But hold on, am I the guest because you're in my spot or are you the guest? No, you're the guest. I'm the guest? You're the guest. This is my spot. Oh, you're right. But we're live from your studio, but you're the guest. That's right. This is the first time anyone's commandeered the intro. I love it. That was, oh, you weren't done yet? I wasn't. Okay. But it's okay. He still has 30 no, minutes. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, Mr. Crazy. He's not even AKA halfway in. Mr. Crazy, 915, Chico Town. The 915 is <laughs> What do you oh, prefer to be called? Yeah, Snapchat what do you prefer to be called, sir? crazy okay what is your official, <laughs> but where did is, crazy come from what is your official <clears throat> title from i mean my, um, yeah but where did it come from because you went from crazy from boy to mr crazy is that because no way all right you're a veteran now <laughs> <laughs> kind of <laughs> <laughs> nah mr crazy uh when i started doing my my gang banging career <laughs> back, back when i was 13 the young age of 13 my homeboys crested me with the name crazy boy nice and then after many years of hijinks and doing a bunch of shit, I ended up at prison at 20. I didn't get out till 31. And I got out and I recorded my first song. And Payaso was like, are you going to go by Crazy Boy? And I'm like, no way. I'm already 31. <laughs> but why not? Crazy man. Yeah, just right there, like uploading shit to, yeah. we're about to upload to MySpace yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah. I put Mr. Crazy. There's a UFC yeah, fighter. A crazy man, that would make sound weird. Your um, your friend. So at the age of thirteen, why did they christen you, uh, el, el Mr. Uh, boy, crazy, crazy boy. boy? Why? What did you do that was like? You know what? Este está loco. <laughs> did you go from crazy boy to crazy I can cuss a lot, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we fucking cuss here all the fucking time. Porque me vale verga. Te vale a verga. Like, you're like, este way. <laughs> it didn't matter what. Yeah. Hey, but wait, haz esto, güey. Te vale a verga. Let me, let me ask you something, uh, Carlos. Uh, what is the worst... Uh, name that you've heard in the streets. Like, oh, that's like you're like, question. what the fuck? Whose name oh, is that? Shit, huh? Like you don't have to call anybody out. It's like, my name. Uh, Puka Bug. Puka uh, Bug. There's a homeboy in Fabius called Puka Bug. Why did they call him that? I don't know. Just to like get on Puka Bug. <laughs> One of the homegirls. I remember if it was La Joy. Sad eyes. La what? No, there's no Sarah. There's Sarah. Right. Um, she told me because like when they were gonna give him his name, they saw a bug passing by. <laughs> and somebody says a puka bug. Okay, you don't name yourself your barrio. So you yeah, did yeah, yeah. when they, when say. they decide on the name. Is it after they they jump you in or after. before they jump? Okay, or after. sometimes that before. Before they jump, but in. they can be dicks. Like even if you don't want it, like <laughs> let's say you're like, no, me gusta más uh, crazy G. Nah, la verga, wey, te vas a llamar pinche. <laughs> it all depends. <laughs> on it. It's just whenever you go somewhere like muy chingón, like hey, what's sí, up, sí, bro? Sí. Yo soy el el pinche. El, 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 long John del, yeah, el Long yeah. John de los estos, estos locos en somos eh pinche pinche trompas and be like what the fuck yeah the, the y hace te que al trompas te queda, they, they jump you in you're like shut up bleedy <laughs> oh my god because uh, nobody oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> shut up bleedy so is there like an official ceremony that takes place during yeah, these uh, jump ins and these, you know what it's not, very now strange. that I've, I've been around a bit it's a lot like a Fucking fraternity, man. Yeah, no <laughs> like a lot of it is yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing some bunch of dumb shit just to fucking. It's for fun, really. Is there like campfires and everybody wears hoods? Oh that's, my god! No, that's god the Democrat damn. Party. Oh! Uh, <laughs> don't, get, don't get started! <laughs> don't get started! <laughs> well, I like how I like how this started. We're starting from the beginning. Yeah. Okay, well, so you were named as a V8, Mr. Lazy, and then <laughs> Mr. Lazy. <laughs> Mr. Lazy. <laughs> I like that. That's a good joke. Crazy boy, motherfucker. That's funny. Lazy boy. Crazy. Actually, Ma, let me finish my V8. No, it, hold on. Actually, right now, that, get right copyrighted now that, by the fucking couch <laughs> because he just chilled on the couch all day. That's why they call him <laughs> Lazy no, Boy. Because there's a there's a couch named Lazy Boy. Actually, because since of we're a starting, lazy motherfucker. Nice. Since they're we're nice. starting in the beginning, bon bon yeah. eating. A lot of memories. Just house like, slipper <laughs> wearing. Because <laughs> you're calling me a house. No, since we are doing an interview, what? um, we can talk about my memories as well. You have memories? Yeah, everyone I, always I has have to very make it few, about himself. Because since you were in jail, there was a big yeah, gap. Yeah, you were like seven when I got Yeah, locked. there was a big gap. But I have very vague yeah, memories. Yeah, like 10 years. <laughs> okay, big gap. I'm going to tell you a few memories <laughs> and tell me if these are real or I imagine them. Okay. False memories. That shit's a real thing, dude. Yeah. Okay, so I, I remember one time you had a machine gun under the bed. Wait, wait. Was it was there a machine gun. Oh, uh, in Clint? Somewhere. This is, these are just memories I have. Just verify them. 
it was a, it wasn't a, a machine gun. It was a 380, and it was on the on my bed with two extra clips. Lost the motherfucker, and I put it in my waist. Damn. That's my shit, dude. Dropping I love that song. Lyrics. Anyways, that's, hey, that's actually my first song. I love that and song. That's why I talk about 380. I did have a 380. <clears> okay, so and did I find it? Yeah. So what happened oh, yeah. that day? Explain I to me that. I got a little scared there. <laughs> what happened? Yeah. Like, was it loaded? You were like five or six or some shit, and I fucking come into the room, and and this motherfucker's like, me. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I knew Damn, it. I fucking grab it. Because I was like, shit, how old was I? Oh, hold on, if I was still there. Man, I was like, you remember that shit? It's just weird memories that I don't know if they're real or not. That's what I'm trying to verify with you. Yeah, yeah, I was like, fuck <laughs> crazy, dude. I think I was like 15. 15? Oh, no way. Or 16, some <laughs> shit like that. You remember that shit? I thought I did. I, guess I, I thought did. I did. Okay, next memory. I remember. Oh, for real, fool. I fucking saw him with the... And it, it, well, it didn't have... Uh, it didn't have a fucking magazine in it or nothing. Yeah, yeah. But still, like, oh, shit, I grabbed it. And then he's all like, me, that bad, that bad. I was like, shit. And I hid, I hid under the bed. Yeah, and my yeah. mom was like... <laughs> right How in the other like, room? You were a little fool. You were like, you were like fucking four or five. Is that so, why I'm so good at holding a gun? I, I, shut your are mouth. you? Just kidding. Don't I thought I had give one for well, real. I think it, was, it was probably more the shock that you see this little kid and he can hold up the gun. That's like, oh, pretty strong. Shit. Like, well, not even that. He even fucking found it. That too. Like, you Audrey know what I mean? Like, like, where did you oh, leave it? Or Audrey what? found it too. Audrey found one too. Where would you keep this gun that was so easy to find? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Remember the 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 beds that we used to have? They had this little like. Cajoncito oh, on, right. the, on the head on the headboard. Mm. It was in there. Interesting. And that was the first thing every kid ch- gravitated to. Yeah. Like, we'll see. <laughs> that cajoncito. Yeah. But what the one I, that the one that I Audrey shot found was. What if I fucking revolver. shot myself? Then we wouldn't be having this yeah, The magazine wasn't in it, sir. What if I found the magazine too? What if it was in the just in the, uh, next, might, you know, in the next cabinet? But did you die? What if I had this? Or what if you left cleaned a, it? Put it back together. <laughs> what if you left a bullet accidentally in the well, chamber? Let me, let me think my law my law real quick. That statue of limitations. There you go. What if you accidentally left a bullet in the chamber? That never happens to and me. I I'm, I'm a responsible myself. gun owner. And then from now on, I had a missing finger. And I was like this. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> okay, next, next, right. memories. next memory. So we're just doing what ifs. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was a party and a car was on fire. Real or fake? A car was on fire. No. no okay, that, that was fake. I mean, that one up. That one was fake. Maybe it was somewhere else. Yeah, what the fuck? In a movie, no mames. Maybe well, right, right, right there in Clint? Yeah. Nah, I never... <gasps> no. There was a couple of times where there were some cars in the driveway in the morning. That's pretty normal. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, which house are we Antichrist. talking about? The one by Clint, by John... Uh, Cunnington and... By them. Morning Glory? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because... that house. And then they moved over there to the east side, and I went to my pet. Yeah. Yeah, you had a trailer, right? Yeah, I remember that. I remember going in there. We used to go really play small, Sega though. Genesis. I remember, oh, yeah, I remember yeah. we watch ants. All, all the all the companies. You should not sell a, a home to an eighteen year old. Jesus, madre is okay. It seems like yeah, common yeah, sense. Okay, I'm chingo at parties. It was brand or... fucking new. I fucked up that carpet and everything. Yeah. Neta. It was always people in my house. I bet, like, dude. Gotcha, way. Like, there was always fools there cooking and shit. Oh, neta? <laughs> cooking out of everything? There was anything? always a keg somewhere. Mm. Oh, shit. Let's go there and... It's good furniture. No, we were drinking it. You don't want to keep the keg. They got cereal numbers. After you're oh, done, do you get rid of it. Oh, I didn't even know it. <laughs> They got there's a bar, uh, tin- oh, there's a fucking bar out there that uses kegs as fucking yeah. chairs. Lower Valley, fool. Oh, where? Where's that, Oh, It's over a there. Bar uh, yeah, por este, Papa Eric's. Oh, no, no. ¿Cómo se llama? It's a burger place. Shit. Papa Panda Burger? Uh, nah, 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 nah. Get my shirt. Papa Burger. Son of a bitch. Anyway. I didn't know you were going to wear that. Top. Oh. Yeah, no, I would have worn a different cap. He always cap. wears them. I have two caps. Thing. He's always the repping black you. One he yeah, he's always repping. He's like your biggest fan. Yeah. Thank well, you. dude, you make some good shit, bro. Well, thank you, man. You make some good quality stuff. Hey, EP Brent. Uh, do you guys have any memories? Hey, shout out, shout out with that. Damn, these yeah, guys yeah. are having fucking moments here. What the fuck? What's one of your, what's yeah, you one need of your some moments of Cali? <laughs> I need some lip gloss. <laughs> Not even lip gloss. You want to kiss me or one? What's yeah, your first man. memory of Cali? My first memory of Cali? Yeah. Mm, that's good. It's very vague, man. Right? Because I was young as fuck, and we would go to the... to the um. What the fuck's drinking this fucking sweet and low shit? Me. Oh. You said diet. I, hey. I, like I don't do sugar at all. How you like them apples? <laughs> I don't like apples actually. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what say? He likes grapes. I like grapes. I like uh, <laughs> what's I like pomegranates. They're mm. big and juicy. 
Anyways, <laughs> I was young. I was really young. The only, the only, we all were. like the the very yeah. The when I went to prison, okay. you guys were like seven and two six. memories. One of them was at the Fabian's house. Okay, we were there. And Which had, one? His mom's or no? My, my the one where where my grandma lived in the front and oh, we lived oh, in the back. Oh, yeah. I was I was fucking. That house is still there. Then. When I was when I was there when we were there, I remember you were there and you drew my grandpa. Oh shit! Um, and I remember that. And then later on, like it like fast forwards to when you were living in the in the trailer, and I was there with with Irvin, and we were playing the Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. that, those are the two memories that I have of you. No, it was it wasn't a it wasn't a Genesis. It was, or a was it PlayStation? PlayStation. It was a PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah. It was were, a you, were you already good at? Drugs? Oh yeah, it was Dreamcast, a game. Dreamcast. A Dreamcast. There was a Dreamcast. Dreamcast. How did that picture of my grandpa come out? Pretty good. Probably good as fuck. I remember. I remember he drew him leaning up against a, a tree, the tree that he, they had in the front of the house. Uh, did you? Why did you learn oh, how to draw? On. Was it because why? it was just something that came to you it's naturally? Just like naturally, fool. Like, hold on, my tattoo set there on their way. Keep asking me something. <laughs> what <I> just did? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Since I was a little kid, I was doodling. I'll be there at one thirty. I'm outside of TRC. Oh, it's because they're coming in from. Um, TRC. They're coming in from Ruidoso. Truth and consequences. Tacos Ruidoso. It's a Just weird for name for a fucking town. Make it town. safe. Make it Gorgeous. safe. Truth and consequences. Okay. TRC. Oh yeah. Uh, like who won? Go that? ahead. You know. What about the drawing? I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember that drawing. No, no, no. I mean, how did you even get into it? Oh, just always doodling, man. Well, you know, like when you were in class. Would you draw dicks on your papers? No, no I'm not. I'm not the motherfucker from super bad. Even though I do have that fucking. I do have that book. Are you really good at drawing dicks? <laughs> what the fuck? Draw my own. <laughs> How accurate <laughs> from memory did you get? I need two pieces of paper. <laughs> I win. Yeah. Is that no, the, the letter ones? No, no, not the letter. The yeah. No way. Legal. Oh, the post legal. legal. Post post it's, post the, post it. <laughs> it's the make paper a, for make I need receipts. To post it. Make wow. a little movie of it. <laughs> no, it's the, ra the, the roll of paper like they that. make to use <laughs> receipts. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Hey, and how did you keep Not up with it? Nah, el mio is the Thicker. small post. Oh, shit. Was there a point when you were like, I need to get good at this? Or you just kept doing it? I just like, I just like fucking around with it. And then, um, but once I, when I really started like, really, really drawing, was like drawing Bart Simpson and shit. Oh, you would always draw me Bart. That was yeah. cool. That's the only and thing I know like, how to draw. What? For real? I, and I showed you how to do it, huh? The little circle and then a half circle. Man, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think you were going to turn it into a career? No. When I... Okay, so I go to prison. Wait, wait. And then... Um, ¿Qué tiene? Like, yeah, you're good, brother. Also, and then uh, like around 2005, 2006, I was at the Clemens Unit in Brazoria. And this dude had only been locked up like a year. And he's like, hey, Chuco. I always call you Chuco. Like from what city you're from? From where you're from. And he goes, you, you're going to do the tattoos when you get out? I was like, nah, fool, only locals get tattoos. Nobody got money like that. He's like, no, nah, like, it's different now. Like, yeah. everybody gets tattoos. Oh, shit. I'm like, nah, there's no money in that. Like, there's no career in that. And then I get out, and uh, I'm going to Valle Verde. Because I was working, I was working. You see, hey, watch, I'm going to show this motherfucker off. Um, I had to be at the yard by 6 a.m. So that means that I would get up at 4.30. Because I had to leave the house by at least 5. Well, 5 was when the GPS... Would would let me pick it up, so I had to be there waiting for. It. As soon as it went green, oh, you skipped I grabbed the, the GPS. Huh? Because what is that GPS for? His um. Yeah, I was in house arrest for like nine months. The, they wanted to know where I was at exactly all the time. Cause so you had to wake up at that hour. to society. <laughs> uh, get up at four thirty. Leave the house by five. Because I couldn't pick it up before that. After I pick it up, I go. I would drive to. The the yard, I would we would be out of there by fucking six, six fifteen, go straight to work. I would get out at five and by five thirty I have my first class at Valle Verde up the street. And I would be there and you know how college is, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, Friday. where I would get out maybe like nine PM, but like Tuesdays and Thursdays I would get up get out like at fucking ten thirty or something. Mm -hmm. And then uh I would go home, do homework, whatever, go to sleep, and get up at four thirty again. Do it all over again. I did that shit for a year. I remember. And after during I was, uh, yeah, well, during and after <clears throat> house arrest, and then I was uh, I wasn't house arrest no more, and I was still going. Okay, well, I was in class one day in, in science in the lab. If I ever, if you ever been to if I ever, it's the same fucking lab class. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there, and I'm 
I, the first one I tattooed was um, Brian. No way. Oh, yeah. What did you do it with your homemade one? Huh? Yeah, the homemade one. I still have it. Cause it's, I didn't know about. I knew about the internet, but I didn't know you could buy shit. So I remember I fucking made a tattoo gun as soon as I got out. And then can you I break that down real quick? How to make one? How no, make one? You, I, I, I want. I want to know that that has fucking. I think that's fucking crazy to me that your um your time frame like in 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 time kind of stopped for you yeah. when you went into jail because like this the homeboy was telling you no nah, dude you can make a career and everything mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. so when you were in jail like time kind of stopped like and when you got yeah, out did. it was like no mama i was, was like, getting letters from girls that that were like 14 15 when i got locked up and i had already been in there they're already like 20 21 22 and they're telling me when are you gonna visit me and i'm like what the fuck and I'm in my head. I'm like, bitch, you're like 14. Yeah, yeah. But they're already in, they already had kids damn, and shit. That's crazy, dude. I still smashed. <laughs> yeah, they're already in their 20s. But see, that's crazy. I think that's that's really crazy. Like that, um, it happened that's that way. Como que well, it happened like tiempo. sometimes, like when I would fill out like some paperwork or something. Like I would be like, okay, uh, Ju what's today? July July seventh. Uh, July seventh, nineteen ninety nine, and. Like, hey, hold on, for it's 2006. Oh, <laughs> like, oh shit. shit. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. It fucking happens. Because there's two times of doing, there's two ways of doing time. One, you're going to dwell on it, it's going to fuck you up. Or two, you cut off the world. I don't know if you remember, I used to tell my mom not to visit me. Because mm -hmm. I just want to get stuck on the, just being in there. Being and in the, forget, like, you got to forget about yeah, the world. Because yeah. if you're thinking about the world, it fucks you up. Yeah. ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Quién tú sabes? ¿Quién salirme aquí? That's crazy. So when you were in there, like, were you already And every time I would get rules? a letter, every uh -huh. time I would get a letter, I was always expecting bad news. Like what? Like so-and-so passed away or... Oh. Like this shit had went down or... So I'm like, ugh. But you, just got, <laughs> you would just get good news. Like, yeah. Irvin's dick grew another inch. pictures of you. <laughs> Yet pictures another of Irvin's dick? <laughs> oh, <laughs> of him. Progress. It, it got yeah, bigger. Here's dick and everything, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> panosha, Okay, Oscar, I like... Oscar, here's... Hey, the fucking Ivan give you that sweater, fool. I work for them. Now. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, congrats, fool. Yeah, good job. You. He's a man of the industry. You're doing good now, huh? I'm doing. I'm doing fair. What are you doing? I'm doing fair. Um, well, I facilitate. Uh huh. So I pretty much handle the supervisors. Oh, so emails. you're at Texas Gas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Austin to live out there for a year. Yeah, I know. To I thought you were him. still out there. No. <laughs> when did you get back, fucker? Yeah, that's right. This morning. Just got back. <laughs> yeah, I just drove in for this. <laughs> I'm here to bring the gas. Oh, I like where there this is go. going. I like where this is going. Because you never talk to me about your prison days. Is it something you don't did like, you like talking about? You don't about? like talking about nah, it? I'm not one of those fools. It's, I'll talk about anything. I don't give a fuck. Okay. okay. So I remember. <laughs> okay. Here I well, go. Let's, keep, let's keep the order. I like how you were saying. Or okay, from my memory, you said you went in because you. I remember being in court. With you. Yeah. And that chick was wearing that thing around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> the collar? That's another memory. You remember that? Is that true or fake? That's true as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what happened she was with wearing that? Collar? She got shot in the neck. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Okay, so that was oh, real. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so break it well, down. I didn't do it. Okay, you didn't do it. That's right. Yeah, well, yeah. Allegedly. Just say allegedly after everything. What? This ain't a court of law, motherfucker. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, because, I mean, you are here. You're a free man, and you did your time, and mm -hmm. it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't real. So, I mean, that's what we're here for. I did do my time. So, you know what I'm saying? We're here. We're, I, what I'm, what's my interesting point of view is, um, were you thinking about your next move? Because you knew you were going to get out. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You're laughing at It's herbs. Division of a one gas. <laughs> That's oh, what it yeah. says on his shirt. Right, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, no, no, let's let's get caps. to that one. Let's let's go first, like the experience in there. Okay, because we never okay. talk about that. Okay, okay, okay. I want coffee. Go for it. Beastelo. Okay, I'll do it. See, beastelo. No, no, go. Keep going. Okay. Beastel cafe. But he's the oh. guest. The okay. guest can't go. No, no, no. Irvin wants to know about within, right? Right. So. Who, First, what were yeah. the what did they accuse you of? Because you gave me a list one time when I was applying oh, for a job, shit. and then I was like, Fuck, "Oh yeah, because he has to know to everything." Because uh, you're a FBI. Um, Not yet, but eventually one day. The, I got arrested on two counts of. Let me see. I remember, I remember because it was sixty thousand each, so one hundred twenty thousand. The first two counts were because they arrested me outside of my job, like 
So how was that? I like? remember I, I fucking roll up and then Cindy's in the car. She's on the driver's side and then there's a street and then there's your side of the street, right? So she's sitting and I used to get the newspaper even back then. So what I What kind of car was this? It was a uh, Cavalier. Yeah. I remember, I remember I opened up the passenger side. Yeah, the burgundy one. Yeah. And I, I looked at the newspaper. She goes, Toma, babe, the newspaper. And I grab it. And when I, I lean in to kiss her on the driver's side. And I look in the rear. And like that, with my eye, because you always got to be looking around. I see a van, like, parked right there. So I was like, give her a kiss. And when I when I open up my eyes and I come back up, the van's not there no more. And then I fucking turned this way. And there was already the fucking cops with the fucking guns. I'm like, get on the fucking ground. I was like, oh, shit. And I turned this way. And there was another car. Right here. I was like, damn. Caught me in a van. Were you gonna run or what? Nah, you can't oh, run from yeah. the cops, man. Stupid. Anybody, anybody that runs, you're stupid. They're gonna catch you. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> you're, you're, that. you're dumb as fuck. <laughs> They're gonna catch you no matter what. Damn, that's crazy. So then, Cindy, what did she say when you, when she saw? She it going started down? having like a fucking panic attack. Um, they were like, "You're under arrest for two counts of uh, criminal attempted murder, and we gotta have a warrant to search your house, bitch." <laughs> I was like, "All right." Let's go. So they fucking tie me up, whatever. Fucking take off. We're on fucking the lamina. Fucking hauling ass. And then we fucking get there. And where's the fucking rifle? I go, I ain't no rifle, bitch. So I'm handcuffed like this. And he sits me on the couch. And he's like, look, nice home. I was like, yeah, thanks. I was like, you tell us where it's at or we're going to tear, tear this whole place up? I was like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. All right. So there, cop, there was like seven or eight of them. They're all in plain clothes. He opens up the fucking cabinet. He grabs the broom and just starts going through everything. So it's like a And then they got, so we're going to fucking run all this shit because I had a bunch of all those. I've always had electronics. I had speakers and shit. I remember. And we're going to we're gonna run every single, I'm going to charge with every single one of these bitch. And I was like, so they put a big ass pile of shit on the fucking, they're going through all of them. They're going through it. They can't find shit. And they go to my bedroom and uh, he puts, I'm handcuffed like this and. The, door, the restroom door is right here, and it's open. The restroom's right here, so it's like right here. And that guy goes, uh, "So you're not gonna tell us where it's at, huh?" I go, "I don't know what you're talking about, fool." <laughs> the motherfucker go, "Wow!" Right here in my chest, like, suck you in the chest. Yeah, Damn. I was like, "How big and was his man?" Fucking, I don't know. Now that I remember, well, he was, you know, stuck. So it was a good. He it was, was a good detective. connect. Yeah, that motherfucker knew how to hit. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and then Damn. that's when I fucking look up, and the dude on the other door, their detective, he's like, he looks out to everybody, and he looks over here, like he's keeping, they call it jitters. He's watching, and the other guy's like, oh, he goes on, and he goes, clang, and then come right here. Where's the fucking you. rifle at? I go, what the fuck you talking about? Mejor just lock me up. He goes, oh, you're a fucking tough motherfucker. I was like, I'm thinking, no, bitch, but <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have a rifle. <laughs> I was 20 for the. He goes, wow, we're going to go to that fucking car. So remember my Lincoln, the lowrider? It was dropped in the back. Well, the it was one? supposed to be a lowrider, yeah. I remember that one, too. You love and, that car. And the trunk, uh, the battery was out, so they couldn't open the trunk. And he's like, we're going to open it up. What's in there? They're all going through it. They got fucking metal detectors going through the whole yard, everything. And I remember we go out, and my neighbor, he's at the fence, like, yeah, they can lower. Hey. <laughs> he's probably dead by now, por señor. Uh, he was already old. And then... Um, they couldn't find a thing, so the dude tells me, Mira, we. He goes, I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to give you a chance. If you run right now, I'll let you get to that fence before I pull my gun out. I was like, man, fuck me. <laughs> Take me to jail. Nah, I start taking off my hand because I go, fuck that. I fucking got on the floor. I was like, nah, fool. Just take me to jail. And then we go back inside. That fool he like opens job, up the huh? back door. And he's like, hey. Last chance, you can run out the fucking over that fence. Damn. I'll give you a running start. I was like, nah. So they finally took me to jail. And then they went and they did the report. The judge, first they take in front of a judge and what he's charged with. They did the report. And I'm still their property until they turn me into the condado. So in the elevator, he hits me again. Damn. But it only hit me like on the top of the head and in the chest. What if you are uh, naturally conditioned to counter when someone tries to... I was handcuffed. And it's like, oh, whoops. Yeah, he's not Jackie Chan, dude. I was handcuffed, hand fool. Bah. You can headbutt. <laughs> not if you're, you're, you're uh, against the fucking... Headbutt. Knee strike. Like and he's just like, wow. He's were, you like, thinking, yeah. were you thinking that you were going to... Actually, out? that's what he wanted, fool. Yeah. If you hit him yeah, back, yeah, what's yeah. going to happen? 
He but that's why he was tempting officer. you to, to run away. Run away or hit him. Fuck, dude. He's like dirty. I just dirty. want to go to jail. So what were you thinking? Yeah, at that point, were you like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go. Fuck me up. Yeah. Fuck it. Oh, shit. How long were you locked up before your thing? I didn't get out after that. <laughs> no, but I mean before your... Oh, yeah. served time. No, it was like... They, I before did the my time, date, yeah. Before the court date or whatever. Huh? Oh, I oh. stayed in the condado fighting for like a year and a half, almost two years. No way. Yeah. So those are the times I remember where the chick Visit, showed up. With visiting the, with me the, up. With the with the neck. Yeah, when I went to court and shit about a year and a half later. Interesting, interesting. I remember those days. And then when they actually, what was the thing? They convicted. My mom just broke down. She was like, no! Or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember, I though, me. when they called that you were arrested or something. My mom was already pissed. Because she was like, no, este cabrón siempre ando sacando. Esta vez se queda adentro. <laughs> She said that. They always say that, but then... Oh, she tried to get me out for a while, but that's good that I was in there. You think I, it helped you out? I know it did. Yeah? Yeah. You're just naturally crazy. <sighs> but now you're a mister. Se llama? Now you're what a about mister. when you get older? Are you going to be done crazy? Hey, señor crazy. <laughs> hey, señor, señor crazy. crazy. <laughs> señor loquito. I don't know. I thought that far, fool. I never thought I was going to be this old to begin with. That's crazy. He hasn't decided how old he's going to be. Yeah, but I remember we went to... Um, we went to Best Buy, Little Man and Me, and, and we went to go buy the second album of Bone, and it was 1996. Well, that was a good year and for music. It's 1999. Yeah. yeah, and I remember we're looking at it, and I told him, I go, hey, fool, 1999. Are we going to make it till then? He's like, I don't know. And at the time, we had guns in the truck and everything. <laughs> like, and then like three months after that's when I got shot. What so, were the 90s like, from your opinion? I got stabbed. I got shot. I went to prison for shooting people. I mean, Cause you went in when two thousand, no? Well, no, it was late uh, ninety nine. So you got to actually enjoy the nineties. Cause yeah, for some I was reason, in, I was in there all the two thousands. For some reason, the nineties are really. Uh, yeah, everybody wants to be from the nineties. Yeah, now they do. What's that yeah. word? They're what? Nostalgic. They're in, they're in, yeah. Oh yeah, nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, everybody's 90s. all about the nineties right yeah. now. Yeah. Fucking. It's badass. I, I like how you, how you overglazed the part, the fact that he said when I got shot, like yeah, for sure. What was it? Like how was that, dude? It was like, a bullet. So before it happened, <laughs> no way. Before it happened, like did you, did you, did you even imagine that shit was gonna go down? Like nah, that? nah, I never. No, I. No, what? No, yeah, maybe. I knew. I, I always knew I was gonna go to prison. I didn't know that long, and I was. You know, I'm gonna get shot one more time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always had this real cringe dream. I was gonna get shot. I remember I was like 11, 12, and I remember I'm standing in front of the mirror, and then just for some reason, my hand goes like this. I was like, oh. oh. And then it went like this. So I think I'm going to get shot again, but in the leg. Oh, wow. By accident, probably you're going to shoot yourself. <laughs> by Irvin. No, by oh, Irvin, he's going to pick up your rifle again. I can make that moment come true. I mean, if you really want it. Like, <laughs> don't make me bust out my heat. In the leg. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he enjoys getting sure shot. you'll be fine. I mean, you've had it once already. It's not that bad. You're like the Tupac of the Chico. So how well, uh, how well uh, that made it? That made acquainted it. Acquainted where you with yeah, like pop culture and stuff while you were in there? Were you like pretty well kept, or is it pretty tough to do that? <clears throat> nah, loco. The only thing we have is uh, USA and TNT. <laughs> Those are the best channels. Got all the basketball games. USA, some yeah, great yeah, movies. You, got away from movies. Basketball. you would watch the basketball games. I remember watching uh, the first Laker championship. I was in the county. Okay, what was... Hold on real quick. That was, what, 2000, right? Maybe. Speaking of the Lakers, during good. the 90s, what was Michael Jordan like watching him play? Uh, it was bad as fuck. Like, that's when, it, that's when I stopped watching basketball after he was gone. Because um, it wasn't just Jordan. You had Jordan, Pippen. You had fucking Charles Barkley, uh, Larry Johnson. Stockton. uh Post Malone. John Stockton. Carl Malone. Post Malone. Post Malone. Post Malone. <laughs> Carl Malone. Reggie Miller. Clyde the Great Drexler. Yeah, fucking Reggie Miller. You see, now you're fucking open. This, um, Sean Kemp. Patrick Ewing. Uh, Patrick Ewing. Fuck You yeah. were just all talking the, about Parrish, them before you got here. Robert all the, Parrish. All the Knicks. Yeah, the fucking Knicks. It's because I was watching some highlights on Michael Jordan. Parrish was Celtics. But it's hard because there's always that comparison. Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. I don't know. You're not even into basketball, but like you got to live through all those three. Who do you I know, think? I know best? LeBron ain't no fucking Jordan. Nah, he's probably not. And I'll tell you why. One, this is this is a this is a big one. Back in the day, vatos and athletes they had fucking pride in themselves, 
and also they realized that they they were actually in a very very privileged situation so they didn't take they didn't take advantage of it so the team that drafted them is the team that they stayed with mm. so warren moon was a fucking badass quarterback but he never got a championship because he wasn't gonna be a bitch vato and be like lebron and be like following the money he wanted his team to make it he never made he never got a super bowl ring but he stayed with the oilers, oilers. he probably came back there for some other shit. they all did that like they were they were loyal the only loyal one that's team. loyal right now is like Witten from the cowboys now he's not gonna get a ring ever because the cowboys ain't gonna get a ring for a while but I respect him more than a lot of these motherfuckers that as soon as it's something, somebody comes up and they fucking offer him something, they jump ship. How many teams has LeBron been in? Shit, too many. But what was it like during the Jordan era? Like, where was everybody talking about him? It just, it, 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 basketball was just, because he was dominant, but, like, he really, they, they took him to, it's because back then, it was, okay, it goes back to that. He was more than, than, than LeBron because back then there was actually body contact and shit. Yeah. Now it's all They actually fucking now you actually see the shit where like the hand he's like oh. <laughs> they're on the fucking ground and yeah, shit. Yeah, like yeah. that's some pussy shit. Like you guys yeah, have I've some seen fucking... videos like back in the seventies. Yeah, there was oh, contact like Robert Parrish and shit. The motherfucker from they would fight. Oh my la verga like and they won't be in for, called for fouls and shit. It's not like it's because it has to be my fuck that civilization. It's a fucking sport. You get into it, you have to fucking let some contact so competitive. Fool. So that's why also in football, so to me, okay, so if you go by rings, the bad, baddest motherfucker was Joe Montana. He has four, right? When my boy Tom Brady got number five, to me they were even because Joe Montana played during full contact and Brady, he got a little bit of it, but now it's like more pussy fight. So when he had five rings, he was equal to Montana with four rings. Okay, I know what you're saying. Know what I mean? Yeah. Now that he's got six, well, of course, he's now he's better than Joe Montana, right? And I thought he was going to get number seven. Next year, Brady, don't quit, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> he's a big fan of the show. Um, yeah. Oh, what's up, Brady? He's our first subscriber. He's, he's, first, he's our first he's subscriber. Brady. You, saliendo, you, 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 when you get number seven, I'm getting your face tattooed on my leg. Tommy. We call Tommy. Face tattooed on my dickhead. Howdy doody looking motherfucker. What was, Who? what was the city like in the city 90s <laughs> compared to now? You're stupid. Um, because I remember when you got out of prison, your first day, you looked like a kid at the candy store. You were just looking around like, oh, shit. Wait, what did you ask him? Sorry. Hey, okay. See if you remember this. What's the very first thing I did when I stepped off the bus? You ate something. No. Oh. You banged a chick. So wait. No. You what did you do? I don't know. You were there, fucker. Ooh. Like, I'm when, as soon as I stepped off the fucking bus, what's the first thing I did? Off Kiss the bus? ground. You started crib walking. Kiss the ground. I don't remember you getting off a bus. That was, that was a Greyhound in downtown. You kissed the ground. I don't remember. You kiss the ground? Like yeah. the Pope? What? I said, wait. Like the Pope, the Pope do that? I kissed the motherfucking ground. He was, he was happy to yeah. be back in yeah. the I was back in Chuco. In the Chuco. crazy. So, so how did it change during all those years? I was about to ask What me. was it like in the 90s? Um, well, the Give whole, us a feel. The whole El Paso, Chuco, EPT thing, the only people that were doing it back then were the locals. Everybody else wanted to be from somebody else, uh -huh. from somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even to, that's why the song I Love My City says that shit. Because you would have people like... El Paso has always been a, a firme city, but everybody always wanted to be from LA, or they were. And th th that's the crazy part. Like, cool, you're from there, but a lot of them weren't. Yeah. They would. They would. It's like you. How long did you stay in Austin? One year. And it's, it's like, like you're saying like. It's I'm like you Austin. come back. I'm from Austin. Nah, it still right. happens to this day. A bunch of you lame motherfuckers do that shit. Um, you fucking go and live in shitty ass San Francisco, fucking pooping getting poop off your front porch for six months you come back because you're from san francisco you say ranker a lot what is it is that what a ranker is? somebody that ranks out fool like like let's say you're from barrio barro los wingies <laughs> <laughs> and i hit you what's up fool where you from uh -huh. right. and i know and you're like no i'm not from nowhere you're being a little bitch you're ranking oh okay because you say that a lot did you have to do that a lot in prison what did you have to do that a lot in prison? Right. Not not denounced from where you're from, but like people coming up to you, like, where are you from? Like, nah, everybody, man, that's the thing about everybody knows everything about you already. You so know. they don't really care, like they pass out. Oh, you're still gonna have to box. Uh -huh. You're still gonna have to box. You like, have to show you know, that you don't have to win, you just have to get out there. Okay, so aunque no ganes, they just want to know that you're not a little bitch. That's why the numbers are there. Like even Rasa, even if you're not from 
let's say you're in a fucking tank and you're the only one from El Paso and there's a bunch of dudes from Davayuco or Dallas and you get down with a with a negro or a gabacho, well, mostly a negro, and uh, like he beats you, but you got out there, the raza will be like, nah, that's it. Like, you can't, no te puedes más. There's rules to fighting. Yeah. Mm, oh, shit. That's dope. There's, limits. Yeah. there's a There's a certain amount of respect. That you have it, to. Yeah. It's because, you see, you have to because it's not like out here, like, these Facebook banger motherfuckers that they'll be on the east and be like, they're going to bump into them. No, in there, you're like. You're going to have to run into You're them. like, they're like, Every they're, day. the cell next to you, yeah, they're going to be right there. So you have to get shit off your chest and squash it, fool. Mm -hmm. If not, it gets bigger. Or if after it gets bigger, you're still going to be there. The only thing that happens after a big riot is they get rid of the main ones that, that were instigating it, but everybody else is still going to be there. Mm -hmm. It ain't like somewhere else. Like, I remember when I was at the Clemens unit, and one day I sat back, and I had lived by that time like two and a half years in the distance of like from here to my apartment, fool. Just in the, like that every day. Like uh, shower, kitchen, cell. Shower, kitchen, Sell or yeah, or we'll go outside to the fields. It did wonders for your skin. <laughs> oh, thank so you. So as far as that culture, because you were part of that culture, and like we were talking about how you were, it was pretty hard to like stay current with everything that was happening until you got out. What would you, what would you say is one of the things that you disliked the most, like when you came back about how the thing had changed, and as far as the culture well, goes, or like the environment? Is there anything that you immediately saw like I don't like that, or backwards something that you were like, oh, I like that. The the. The loss of uh, not respecting uh, parents and elders. Mm. That was just me. Shut up. Just kidding. I remember one time this fool, who he was up the stairs, he was fucking talking shit. And now my mom's like, you know, I'll fucking go up there. And he's like, I don't care if you beat me up. I don't care if you hit me. No way. You don't fucking hit me. No but I'm still going to remember that shit. Because you have to understand, I grew up without a father. There was no, <laughs> there was no male figure in the house. And you pissed me off when you got out because you're trying to, <laughs> one time I told you, I was like, you're not my dad, remember? Because you tried to assume that role and I was like, I didn't try to assume hey, nothing. I was, just, I was used to like, you didn't talk like that to mom. Yeah, you yeah. didn't disrespect like that. Even if mom is wrong, you're supposed to look, this is going to be about mom. Listen. One or two things is going to happen. All moms, right? Listen to them. Even if, even if, even to, if you yeah. know it's wrong. And then at the end, some sort of come back and be like, look, it's because this was wrong. And most of them will be like, hey, you know me, I'm sorry. Yeah. But when the shit's going off, you're going to be like, you can't be disrespectful. You can't, fool. Because yeah. yeah. when you do that and you ever have kids, imagine your kid doing that to you. Like, you ain't shit, bitch. Like, <laughs> and you're going to be mad and shit. Now you're going to be sound like a fucking, what the fuck? When they start saying no to you back, it's like, what? The just, fuck you mean? Just don't <laughs> teach them that word. Well, yeah, but you got to tell them no. <laughs> That's one of the main things that, that it was weird to me. Like, but you also have to understand when you got out, it was during I was like 17, 16, during my little rebellious years. Rebels. I remember the first night or the first day I was out. So I, uh, well, first I had a cell phone before I went in, but it was different back then. I get out and this fucker has a cell phone and shit. A razor? No, he had a little gray one. It was and the Samsung, the flat one. The Samsung, yeah. That was a good so, phone. I liked it for and 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 I didn't have a phone. Yeah. But it was my first night out. He's like, he can sleep in my room, right? Because nothing was ready for me. Like, right, right, right. Everything <clears throat> was still. I was like, cool, let's go. So I fucking go, and I'm going to sleep in the bed, and he's asleep. And then I fucking, the first song I fucking heard, I'll show you. Keep we asking me it. something. We I'm can sing it. No. Oh, don't play I, it, because then we'll get cut off. Of I, no, don't, he, don't. He can no play not if like, it's a couple of seconds. Yeah, Man, I know about this shit, fool. <laughs> it can be 30 Listen, seconds and below. I know when you don't even know how to type on a keyboard and I have to teach I'm you. Not well, lie. for now, I'm the most. Wow. I'm not going to lie. Did I see Masvidal like training in the background and shit? And I'm not going to lie. I'm still thinking about how you say that you can you can sprint faster than me and shit. God, I'm not my <laughs> heart. Pounding, as fuck, dude. I'm going to go. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train so hard today. By the way, I have like no. Back up to it. I just knew that he was gonna get a ride. I'm not gonna you lie. Fuck with him, dude. <sighs> now he's motivated. No, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start waking up like, at 4:30, and I'm gonna have a picture of you like in my I, bedroom. Look, it's a, it's a win-win. Because if I if I lose, 
if I lose, then he Either feels way, I'm good. In shape. He yeah. feels rectified. He yeah, feels definitely. like, yeah. Rectified. But if I win, rectified. it's even funny. Rectified. Rectified. This is the first no, song no, no, no. Honestly, if anything, this, this is the first song I heard. Uh-huh. Hey, oh, T-Pain. Yeah. T-Pain. And Kanye. Isn't that crazy? So, like, I'm asleep, and I start hearing this. Yeah. And I'm like, on the radio. Well, I was asleep. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I got this. And I fucking wake I up and, yeah. and I look up and I remember I see blue because the bedroom's blue. See, 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 see. And I see the, and I'm fucking like, because for the past, all those years, I was waking up in a cell. So I fucking wake up and I'm like, what the fuck? And he's like, what, what? I go, oh shit. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm here. I'm out. I'm Did home. You have a and then his PTSD? phone, I don't, I don't nah. You don't think so? So that the bit. phone, it was his, that was his alarm. For school. That's cool. That's I was crazy. like, what, seven in the morning? Welcome to the life I live. Yeah, it was like six forty-five. That's six forty-five in the morning. I just, I didn't, I didn't so even know that. Up, <laughs> he, he gets up and he's like, oh, it's just my alarm. I'm like, oh shit, I'm out. Like, that's crazy, dude. It's crazy. I go work? for my. I got to shine. Huh? Throw your hands up, up in the sky. sky. Uh, I'm gonna be in this TV, mama. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna push it uh, down. Uh, I'm gonna break hey. it. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Uh, I'm good. Boom, boom. That was a good song. Yeah, yeah so, crazy, and man. I just knew it was going to be a good life. Okay, so take it back. Bring it back. So, they convict you. How did you feel when the judge was like... Great. Honestly, I was relieved. Relieved? That it was over and done with? That it was over because I thought I was going to get like 60 years. They offered me 50. Who's a pinchy madre? That song, Pobre, is it? I thought so. They offered oh, yeah. me 50 and, and he was like... You'll see parole in 25 years. You'll still be young. And I'm like, bitch, I'll be like 40-something. Like, nah, I'll be 45. Well, you mentioned in another song that you said that the guy even told you, like, I, I will seek. Can you make me a coffee? I yeah. will seek. Uh, May, uh, here. Jail without yeah, parole. Wanna, no, and, and one, put a one and a half jail spoons without and then a little bit yeah, of. Uh, How I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was your story. Of, sorry, I have and terrible pobres? name. No, but there's another song where you, it was a separate story that you talk about like the guy even told you like i will seek life in prison that's parole. is it Pobis? that's that's poor is okay. that's my actual story when you hear yeah. that song yeah, that's a good song if you guys if, that's like if you want to hear like if everything want, we're talking if about you wanna hear, at, if you want to hear if you want to hear my life story song listen to it it's called song. pobres by mr crazy chuko we can link it yeah yeah you can we, find we it. have the technology you can find it on on you can find it on anything really uh, iTunes, Amazon. You're Google verified. Remember, I remember we yeah. talked about that in my podcast. What about Spotify? Verified, you no. said that you're Google verified. Uh, Spotify, you're on Spotify? Spotify verified too. No. But but you said that that means that anytime somebody Googles you, you're the only result or the first result, yeah? Yeah. And uh, I was going to tell you the other day, I got all happy because I looked up my dumbass YouTube name because <laughs> it's so stupid and unique. I'm the only one. So yeah. I, I was going to tell and you, I'm Google there? verified, dude. What? I was telling you that. I was going to tell you. I got excited. Good, great if you look up Rejig Bean Soup, it's the only thing that pops up. Like, it's the first yeah, thing that pops up. These. But you can you can update your... I'll tell you what, man. I'm fucking pissed <laughs> at happy. you, dog. Let what? me tell you why. So Let me tell you why. Fuck them up. Let me bring it down. So Let me tell you why. Because there's this picture of you where you're looking fucking... Fly? Fucking with your chest all fucking chiseled. You you're looking fucking buff as fuck. Yeah. What happened? What happened? Oh, See? this motherfucker. <laughs> but that's not Google verified. But it's the only thing that comes up. Nah, nah, don't oh, change the subject. Google verified is. Eh, hey, Pucci oh, Carlos. No, no, no cambies, no cambies la historia. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué está pasando? Es que tú nomás te gusta, tú más te gusta echar palo todo el tiempo, por eso. All right, yeah. There you go. Okay. Hey. No, I'm not, I'm not on your up, level. I can update it. Let's do A ti nomás te gusta echar palo. Ya suéltala esa madre y ponte, ponte acá. Huh? Dude, I'm telling you, when I when I when I first saw you when you got out, I motivated you, you to work out, sh- huh? I uh, you're a fucking. I stopped. Well, no, what it is is that I was on a on a fucking streak. I'm gonna get back to that. For what, it's for me, it's easy. Pero qué hacías? Qué hacías? And and and, and, and would you do a lot of push ups, sit ups, or what were you doing? Sit ups. That's just, all you did. Yep, that's it. I've never taken nothing. Sponsored by Nestle. The only thing that I ever did was. Prison fitness? Uh, prison fitness? Amino acids. Amino acids? Drop about four or five. And, but that's only to help your shit reduce. But <laughs> when, when you got out, like, were you still, did you still have a routine? Like I still worked out a little bit. Uh-huh. I, uh, there was a machine, uh, but I stopped. After, after you, you see, you got to remember, it's because when you're in there, there's not many you can do. So mm-hmm. you work out a lot and you draw. But once you're out here, remember, I was in there years, fool. So I started fucking eating and... Just fucking and enjoying it and fucking more and eating more pussy 
I remember the first day you got out. That was the first thing you did. What, what? eat pussy? You just went with some with some oh, fat chick. What? She was fat. Wow. Dang! Mer, 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 mer. I, I think cause there's a sticker in the back of the car. I never saw, saw a fat, fat bitch. chick. <clears throat> Listen, I understand. You spent oh, a lot of time. You're talking about the one that visited. No, no, I didn't fuck her. Pretty sure you did. No. You told no, me afterwards, you were like, I just fucked that chick. That's what he said? Probably. But he said, I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, don't fuck her. Uh, Why are you hating on him? She, she, no, I'm not hating on him. She just showed up to the house and I was like, so what the fuck? You already know this shit? Well, not at first. Did you meet her in prison? Nobody knew I was out for a long time, for about about six months, fool. Oh, really? I didn't tell I just remember some girl showing up randomly. I, that's when we were hanging out a lot. That's, what, and that's I, like the car burning shit. It didn't happen. That's when we were hanging out a lot. And, and <laughs> we, um, I would show up to your house and Kali was there. And yeah. then, yeah, and I was like, damn. And then he would give me shit and tell me. That I wasn't. That was on steroids, and then, you know, my powered by God tattoo. He's like, "You're powered by steroids." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, you, man. I remember, All of them. I, do you remember when we went to with you to get steroids? Like that was so funny oh, how yeah, he was hiding. Oh, yeah. Dude, what the fuck, man? We were, we're like, kinda, we were, we're like, like fucking walking. I was all shit. um. And he I was like, all like secretive about it. I, I thought I these guys thought we were gonna do like a drug deal. Little did they know that it was, was a roids. drug deal. That shit's illegal, well, no, isn't it? We're chilling in the car. We're like, yeah, I'm waiting for this guy. We were just talking. All of a sudden, he's like. Yeah, I'm gonna like, that's a, we're gonna wait for some steroids. <laughs> You're all happy. Yeah, and we're like, okay. <laughs> I've never done if I ever if I ever juice, I'm gonna wait till I'm like in like in my early fifties. So I can just slim that. But right now get, I'm not gonna do nothing. Why that's why I've already started my diet. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how much I can get again. They yeah. do that. There's testosterone replacement therapy. TRT? It's like a, a natural thing people do after like. Oh fuck, I got so much testosterone. I left some in a bitch last night. Dang. Oh. In a bitch. Pinchy oh, yeah, semen dude. por you todos just, lados. <laughs> you just take us in the car all of a sudden and all that. Oh, we're hanging out. Yeah. Gish, gish. He and secretes gish, gish. steroids. He and secretes shit. testosterone. Gish, gish. I do. Skin. Dude, steroids are not are not what you think. Like steroids. I know that. I know 100% isn't there are steroids and then in nasal spray? It's when nasal you over, sprays. It's when and you everything. overuse them that your your testicles start making it and then yeah. I know, fool. But but I'm saying in the sense that a lot of people think that, oh, I'm gonna inject this shit and I'm gonna get nah, jacked as fuck. Nah, like it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it'll yeah. speed. It'll help you burn shit faster. I mean, as far as that. Well, because you always see you like, the worst of the people that are using it. You know? Well, no, no. Well, in their defense, steroids weren't didn't used to be what they are now. Right. They used to be fucked up. It was up. cleaner. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it used was to be cleaner. cleaner. But oh, no, the sure. way they would fuck up is that. So it's like, so you know when somebody fucks up their back and they can't use their legs no more, what happens to the legs? They get like real skinny, right? This is atrophy. So if you start replacing your regular testosterone with fucking bull testosterone. Mm. Your body's using that. Your balls, you ain't using your balls that much. Right, you start right. shrinking. I mean, over a long period of time, and that's, but that's when you abuse it. That's what you do in cycles. The was there was it available um, in like, jail, like steroids and shit? Nah, no. No, it's not even creatine. Nada, like nothing. You know, you just all get natural. Shit. I'm sure there was a way. I heard uh, Kelly Muss always says that he used to eat a lot of ramen. That's how he got his gains. <laughs> yeah, a lot, that's a lot of fucking carbohydrates. Because you hear about all these things that are in there that shouldn't be in there. I'm sure you saw some There's things. a lot. I mean, yeah, the, you can pretty much get anything, but depends if you're in a in a in a prison that's got dudes that are doing. They try to keep them all muscle menos, but if, if there's a prison where there's dudes that are gonna get out soon, they don't really fuck with it too much. Then there's a prisons where the dudes are gonna be there forever, so they don't want to fuck up with it either because they don't want to mess up their good living conditions. You know, because they're like in a bigger so Yeah. There's just certain places where you can get whatever. And you can get away with it in certain places where, like, nah, dude, like, what the fuck are you doing? They don't even fuck with it. Yeah. They're like, nah, you're going to bring heat to everybody. Yeah. And, mm. Oh, I get it. That's dope. Yeah. And it's just crazy, like, um, how it is, like, the respect and then. And, there is a lot of respect. And, One of the things that I do remember, because um, when I got out, oh, quick story. Story time? Dale, guys. Sure, go for it. So I was working at. For seal right with uh with Ivan Fu. Oh with shit! Oscar. Yeah, he's the one that got me. That's why I know a little bit about that. I know how to get a good beat fucker on the pali. <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys wouldn't know these commies. They're not a damn thing, but my rollback's nice, commoners. fool. You hey. should fucking see my chest. <laughs> oh, you gotta. What is it? Two two thirty thirty seconds. Oh, I thought you were having a. Two thirty seconds. Uh, you're uh, atrophied attack or something. Uh, it's Ten minutes. Use a fucking pipe. Is that a fucking Ten minutes. So like, I have been out like, cause I I started working there like a week and a half after I got out like quick, and and um, 
There was a vato que le decían el mudo, because he was mudo, fool, like for real. Mm -hmm. Mute. He, we were working at Fort Bliss. I remember. And, and um, oh, wait, actually, that guy, he's the dad of one of my really good friends. Yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I didn't so, find that out till way later because he was like, oh, yes, that's yeah, me. They live in like in San Diego. And I was something. like, wait, don't you work with a guy? And it's like, yeah, so connection. we so were at Fort world. Bliss. Villegas, huh? Is his last name? Villegas? And we, we, had, we had installed a riser. Okay. And what, what have we done to a riser? We, we were going to purge. We we're going to purge the system. We did something. I remember if like something, it was something that we did. Because we got to purge the system. We got, you know, we got to purge the system. Mon we forgot to put the fucking... Man. The stack. And something happened, and the, the foreman, he came, and he's like, ¿Quién les dijo que hicieran eso? And that fucker was like... Like, it wasn't me, it was him. And I'm standing there like, uh, uh, bitch? Like, nah, I had, only, I had only been there like a week and a half, two weeks. So I'm looking at him like, all right, she mentiroso, like, I didn't... <laughs> all right, cool. He was like, oh, I was like, man, fuck this. So he's like, venga, se Carlos, vamos por nada. So we fucking, he puts me on the truck to go get some more joints and shit. And we're in the truck. And I'm like, pues ahorita que vuelvamos, voy a limpiar mi jale. And he's like, ¿de qué está hablando? No, pues ahorita, cuando llegué, voy a limpiar mi jale con el mudo, pues dijo mentiras. Y, así, ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Dije, no, pues dijo que yo, que yo dije, que, se, que usted dijo que se quisiera más con el riser. Y, pues eran mentiras, pero ahorita limpio mi jale. Y, sí, oh, pues, oh. He stopped. He's like, no, 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 no ya, ya no está encerrado, Carlos. Ya no está encerrado. <laughs> you were going to beat him up? Sí. Yeah. You were going to beat the... Because he lied about me. The mudo? That's, yeah. my, friends, that's but, my friend's dad, dude. No way. But the foreman like knew he was and... talking shit, right? No, the foreman didn't well, know he that he lied. He, I, I, like... <laughs> Look, like me, if si me levantas un falso, I'm not gonna be the fucking bitch. Falso, be like, no es cierto, lo verga, no, I'm like, alright, bitch, I get you later. That's how it is. Simon. That's why everybody like nowadays can't argue because you say say some, no es cierto, and then they start fucking. You'd be like, ah, right, you let them talk, let somebody talk, just let let them dig their fucking hole, and that's when you come back and be like, no. But it was real quick. He was yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. that, and Leo got mad, like, vámonos. So and I told him, sabe qué, pues yo no hice ese jale. Voy a limpiar mi jale. He's like, no, no. He's like, no le va a hacer nada. And I was like, I couldn't understand. Like, what yeah. do you mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, I have to. Because if I don't, I'm weak. I'm true, still in prison. Yeah, yeah, if mentality. I don't take care of that shit. Because everybody else there knew that it wasn't yeah. true. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, they all know it's not true. And he lied about me. So, I got to smash this fool. Because he lied about me. So, fuck this fool. I'm going to get to, I'm going to smack, I'm going to, le dije, no cae pedo, me lo llevo para atrás, nadie me va a mirar. How do you come up to a new person, though? Pues le iba a poner una chinga, pues qué. I was going to be like, hey, ¿sabes qué? Venga, se vamos a limpiar este jale. And he would have been like, well, no, no, la verga, I would take it off my shirt, like, I'm going to rest. How do you come up a new person? Hey, say something. Oh. Nah, he can read lips. That motherfucker knew. No, but he can't talk, right? He would have been like, no, but he can't, like, physically talk. No. That's what I'm saying. What do you say? Say something. Oh. Sign something. Cholo, cholo. Uh, you're saying that he was talking shit. I'm like, what is he talking? Well, he was no. Well, to me, <laughs> he, was well, he was talking, shit. saying that I'm the yeah. one that told him about he the riser. He was lying. He was yeah. He was he's always putting it on me yeah, that I'm the one that true. told him to put the riser and shit. So I was like, fuck this fool. And you know he's what? Like, no, 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 le va a hacer nada. He goes, que te lleguemos. Usted se va a bajar y no le va a decir nada. Usted se va a ir para allá. And I'm just and like, you know what's fucked up is that he now has I'm thinking I'm now I'm thinking I'm a bitch. I didn't bitch. say anything. Y luego qué pasó cuando regresaron? To me, that was bitchy move too. The whole fucking day, I'm like, nah, fuck this. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I'm like, fuck, I'm on fucking house arrest. There's no, there's no, like, if I do something, I'm going back to prison no matter what. So I'm just like, fuck. And that motherfucker right there lied about me. I'm like, fuck that fool. And this bitch, Vato, he's he's not letting me clean up my holly, so fuck them both. Damn. Yeah. So, and I'm mad. Yeah. And then, like, that's still festering with me. It stayed festered for a while. And then, uh. One of the vatos, like, a couple of days later, he goes, hey, wey. And I go, hey, I mean, I mean, wey, like, what way? He's <laughs> like, no, pues, I dispensa, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, we're just. you don't call somebody way. And, like, in, in jail, like, it's just. Yeah. There's no so fresas in prison? It was just shit like that. There's no fresas in prison? Fresas, yeah, hey, wey. Like, the ones with the cooler in their lips. Yeah, yeah, they got cooler in their lips. It's cool off. What were you going to ask me? <laughs> okay. You seem like you had a question. Um, yeah, but it's not related to what we're talking about. Uh, 
I just had a random ass question. <laughs> what is What's it? What's I turkey right. work? Do you remember that uh, video I sent you of Ali Sadiq? Ali Who the fuck is Ali Sadiq? He's a comedian. He did time. But he was talking about the prison riots. And I, and I sent you a message. I know you, ha- I know you saw it. <laughs> Because I, I, I well, what did he say? Because <laughs> the No, he was just saying that uh, they, the first day he got there, there was a there was a riot. He doesn't he wasn't sure that somebody just came up to him and was like Mexico got on boots and they ran away. <laughs> I don't it know. was hilarious. Okay. I saw a dude wear boots at the shower once. In the shower, probably had mad fungus or something. Uh. No, it's, uh, it was the Clemens unit. It was uh, the Roman style showers. Uh-huh. So it was it was it was three three big stalls. Uh-huh. So on this one was the black dudes. Right here was the Solanos and Flonkes and Faggots. And over there was the, was the Raza, right? So, like, I didn't roll with nobody. Like, I didn't, I stayed solo. So, technically, I had to be in the, with the. With the brown, with the Mexicans. Fuck PC culture with the faggots. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? With with all that. You will never go to the black side. And if, and the only ones that can shower in the Mexican side were the vatos with, from the. The, the prison gangs, the, the famas and the tangos and shit. And I wasn't with nobody, so they were there. But you see, after a couple of years, they were like, nah, this dude's solid, so they would let me shower over there with okay. them. And I remember the day there was a dude named Spider from uh, Houston, Houston Tango Blast, uh, in the Clemens unit. What's up, fool? I hope you're, you know, I know you're still there, but I hope you're doing good. He watches. He had team. like a 60 or something. So shit. he was like, hey, chico, man, fuck those fools, man. And... And I remember some dudes from photos and everything were there. And one of them looked at him like, hey, fool, like, what are you doing? And the other dudes were like, nah, he's cool. Because like, there wasn't a lot of people from El Paso there anyways. Yeah. So he's like, nah, fool, like, he's cool. Like, he, he's got cora, fool. Like, he ain't one of those fools, so they, they let me come over. How there. come you don't shower with the black people? It's very racist in there, man. Neta? Very racist. It's in general. Everybody That's why a lot everyone. of you motherfuckers think shit's racist when somebody says something like, uh, Mexicans like tacos. That ain't racist. It's the fucking truth. It's... It's real racist and they're like real racist. Yeah. Like they don't fucking like give me give you a scenario. So let's say you're in the day room. One of two things is gonna happen, or there's there's a reason. God damn. There's a reason this happens. Let's say you're sitting there and this black dude. Well, first of all, let's say you're on the Mexican side of the benches. Because the Mexicans are on one side and the negros are on another. Um and he offers you a cookie. Now it depends on the unit. Not a lot of them are like that, but if it's a real, a real rock and roll unit, that's already a sign of aggression because you're not supposed to be eating with the blacks, fool. So him offering you a cookie, one of two things gonna happen. One, you can be like, nah, man, like, you know, I can't do that. So somebody over here watching will be like, oh man, fuck that. He disrespect. He better clean that shit up, right? Or they might be like, ah, pinche meco. Or, or on his side, some some of the black dudes will be like, "Man, why are you offering cookies to that essay?" Like, so you're forced you to clean that it. shit up. So you have to. So you can respond one of two ways: be like, "No," or be like, "Bitch, the fuck you fucking offering me shit for?" Now, now it's on him. Now his black dudes will be like, "Man, you gonna, gonna let that? that? You gonna let that essay talk to you like that?" Yeah. And now you know that's how shit escalates. So that's why there's a the big respect thing. Oh shit! But that's crazy, dude. Like. Cause me, like I'm, ah, like I'm so, I've never been, I've, I've never done shit like the the one shit was getting caught with weed and it was like minimal amount of weed. Pinchy marihuana. And and I love it. And then I was like in in like the 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 first level like where they hold like the drunks and everything and then yeah it's like. But you can already see in the in the holding tank, it's already splitting up. Simon, like there's dudes over here. And, and that's it. There was this guy with a crazy uh, with uh, insane insane clown posse tattoo on. The fuck? I, okay, it was like this white guy, right? And mm-hmm. I was talking to him, and then I, I might have said something, and he said, Fue mejor. So I'm like, oh shit. I'm so naive that I would have been like, fuck yeah, I want a cookie. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you got cookies? <laughs> fuck yeah, bro. Like, no, you, you don't what have the fuck? You don't cookies. No tienes más, güey. Like, so yeah, you can't do that. And that's the thing. Like, those are, those are rules, or not rules, but things in there that you learn. And I like me if I was to go like I'd be like a la verga like no sé de qué pinche pedo. So you're forced into the culture basically, even if you're not that way. It's not that you're forced. I mean, you can say fuck that, and then you're just, gonna get fucked. You're just up. gonna fight more. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, you're basically <laughs> forced into. <laughs> no, okay, not so, if you like fighting. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, one of the movies that I remember you showed me was that American History X. Oh yeah. 
That was a great movie. And blood in, blood out. I, I, I could kind of. Uh, there's real racist. Like there, there's this. So people say white supremacists. First of all, are you afraid of white supremacists? Am I afraid of them? Yeah. I'm not, not really. Are you? <laughs> what wait? I mean, what are sense? You? What do you mean? Like, oh, it's a quick question. Like, are you afraid of? Am them? I afraid of white supremacists? Of, of a mob? Yeah, definitely. Because it's, it's very situational. Of no, 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 no. You see, but you see, that's that's where you're taking it to. What could, should, and would like? Right. No, no, no. Are you afraid of them? Like, do you know white supremacists? No, no, I don't. Have know. you ever seen one? No. Have you? Maybe I have. An actual white supremacist, like a real no, fucking. No, no. Haven't had the pleasure. Never. That's because that's you know? how you know it's not a problem. That's true. Yeah, I've never run into nobody. Like, I know yeah. people talk about them like they're everywhere, but they're not. Yeah. That that's not it's not a problem, but people like the media and everything try to make it seem like that mm-hmm. to keep you scared and shit. Yeah. Now, even if there was a shitload, would you be scared of them? No, I wouldn't have Because you, know? you got your two, got two hands. But I'd still be a little scared. Nah, but they have you, a knife you can do the same thing they do. Like, okay. <laughs> so when I figured that out, I'm like, all right. So I'm here with actual white supremacists. <coughs> but then when, you, when they start talking, uh-huh. if you close your eyes, so like, it would be like, so what's up, man? What do you believe? Nah, man. I believe that we should keep the bloodline pure and we don't want fucking Mayates or or anybody in my family. I don't want my cousin and my sisters to be with this and that and this, this and that. Right. I don't want them to be with this dude or that dude because I want my nephews and this and that to be a certain race. We got to keep it cool because that's my dad's name or that's my family name and everything. That's, okay. what, they, that's what they tell you. Well, yeah, but that's what a lot of dudes in all races say. <laughs> there's Mexican dudes that say that. There's black dudes that say that. Mm-hmm. And there's white dudes that say that. But for some reason, when a Mexican or a black dude say it or a Chinese motherfucker says it, we're like, oh, well, I understand. But if a white dude says it, no, oh, fuck white that white supremacist. Well, like, oh, maybe yeah. because they have a history and they've actually done shit in the past. <laughs> all races have histories. Yeah. But not like white people. Like white no, supremacists. They Nazis. all do. They all There's do. Concentration camps. But it's Germany. concentrated. It's <laughs> concentrated. It's concentrated on just the white people. Oh, but you see, this is what you got to remember. I think they earned that reputation. This is what, what you got to remember. Even in slavery. <laughs> in Germany. Even in <laughs> slavery. In years. <laughs> how many people died trying to free the slaves and they were. A, Let's say even 50-50 white and 50-50 black. 600,000 people what? died in the fucking Civil War. Right. Wait, what are you trying to say? That, yes, there's bad apples in every race, True. but the other races help. Not everybody's like that. Mm-hmm. So there's also instances where here in El Paso, you can probably even see it now, there'll be a white dude and, and they will come in and they rush him. But for some reason, that's not registering to you as a hate crime only if a white man does it. Hmm. But I know where Evan's coming from. Like, there's just the, the stigma. No, but of there's it. always, well, no, but what my, my point is, it wasn't just the white dudes that did that. Right? It was everyone that did Everybody's it. done it. Yeah. But we yeah, only yeah, concentrate. Yeah. He said there's a track record of it. Yes, but there's also a track record of black dudes doing it. Or there's Native a track Americans record of Native Americans doing it. There's a track each other. record. Of, but it, it doesn't come to a light because for some reason, you know, only the white man has to be blamed. I, just don't, I don't know. I guess it just wasn't to that magnitude, to that level. It was in a lot of places. Depends where you were at. Nazi level? See, but that wasn't Pretty even sure here. Pretty yeah, sure wasn't. we would have read it. That wasn't even here, though. No but it, wasn't, it, was, it was more of a, they wanted to get rid of I'm the Jewish about, I'm talking about the United about, States. You're talking about white supremacy, right? Yeah, white supremacy in the United yeah. States. <laughs> white supremacy is having that, uh, that See, but okay. because why, that. why did the Crusades happen? Well, because people didn't believe in, yeah. Nope. Christianity. Nope. Yeah. It wasn't that. What was it for then? The Crusades happened because when when the when the Quran was written, the um, um, Muhammad in the in the Quran is a lot like the Old Testament, and it says that if if they're not of yours from your Muslim, you either gotta kill them, the they convert, or you kill them. So they started doing that. It's caliphate, and it started going over from from the Middle East. Watch, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna. It might blow your mind a little bit if you think about it. So they started, they started fucking taking over. Anybody that didn't convert to Muslim, they would kill them. Buddhists, Christians, they would kill them. They were smashing people, 
killing people by the fucking hundreds of thousands and converting cities and villages into Muslim, all right? Is Muslim a bad... Look, man, I understand Muslim itself is not a fucking bad religion, but there's dudes that take it to the next fucking level, just like there's Christians that take it to the next level where you can't even jack off because it's a sin. It's the same thing, but in the Muslim world, the fucking Quran says that if they don't convert, you got to kill them. That's the difference. So, hold on, what are you trying to do right now? Are you trying no, to justify no, no, racism? No no. no, no, I'm not trying to justify racism. I'm trying to. I'm giving you another example of people don't talk about it. It's been put under the rug, thinking that the Crusades happened because people didn't believe in, in Christ. I'm trying mm -hmm. to get to it. Hold on. So, what they started doing was they started taking over a bunch of pieces of land, making people into Muslims, and that's when the 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 the, the church was like, "Hey, these fools are killing a lot of people." Yeah. They're like, fuck it, we got to stop them. So the Crusades were formed, and they fucking went at it. And they pushed them back. But what happened? A lot of non-Muslim or traditional non-Muslim countries are now Muslim-controlled. Like, a lot of Asian countries, they're Muslim. Mm -hmm. Why are they Muslim? Because that they got that far, and they turned them into Muslim. They weren't Muslim before that. Right. But the, 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 the caliphate was taking over. They were coming down. They went through Asia. That's why the Cambodians, they're Muslim, because they, they were taking over everything. But the, 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 the church stopped them. And there was a big-ass fucking war, and the Christians won. But that's why there's people that they don't look like Muslims, but they're, they come from Muslim countries because that's how far the caliphate got. Yeah, I, know, I, mean, I see where everyone's coming from, though. Because he's talking about... You see, but that was brown people killing white people. Yeah, but that was, uh, everyone's talking about how... Um, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a more of a stigma of, of a white person being a racist. Anybody can be racist, 100%. Mm -hmm. Anybody can be racist. But there's, there, there's just, it's just bigger. Like, he, like the one bigger. big one. The one big one. It's just blown you see, a, but, to a bigger okay, story. So, so, but him... He was even he was even racist against other whites. They had to be a certain type of white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah he yeah. didn't even fit that criteria, which is. And this is the crazy shit. He killed sixteen million, but people forget about fucking Mussolini. He killed sixty million. Yeah, Stalin. Stalin. Sixty million. Sixty, like more yeah. than Why double. Why did he kill uh, uh, sixty million? Why did he do it? They weren't converting to. Uh, they didn't want to do the socialism and the because that's what Nazis were. Nazis and and the social the socialist, the socialist part. They didn't want to. They didn't want to uh, uh, let him run. So he fucking killed a bunch of them. Stalin. What was that other cat? Pol Pot. And that guy died like peacefully, Pol like he retired and everything. He was. I think so, it was in Vietnam. You see, the reason that it's easier to fucking. You see, it goes even back to that psychologically, fool. When you think shit, the first one that came to your mind was Nazis. Uh, uh, that motherfucker uh, uh, Hitler but he killed less than half of what these other motherfuckers did the socialist party but you don't hear about him because the people want to concentrate on the Nazi thing yeah well he said he was inspired it's by still the way that up. we massacred all the Native Americans just racism that's, well, that, that's what they said what he used was was Margaret Sanger's uh, uh, fucking eugenics yeah she's the one that started Planned Parenthood and mm -hmm. she started Planned Parenthood to get rid of the undesirables, yeah. which were the people that were handicapped and the black people. That's yeah. why all the Planned Parenthood's are... They made a movie about that, right? Or related to no, the nobody eugenics? Wants to, nobody, wants to, nobody wants to... Uh, it's called... Uh, it's not popular. Children man, of Men or something? So she, she started Planned Parenthood to get rid of the black people. And this... Because the first sponsors were the, the, the ladies of the KKK. That was just for her first meeting. They were the first ones that helped her to get rid of these black people. And, and they... The, the Democrat Party funded it because they asked the, the KKK. When the Nazi motherfuckers were trying to figure out a way to kill a bunch of Jews, they went and got her fucking recipe and started doing it over there. First, they started killing just the people that were handicapped. Then they started going yeah, it's on. It's just getting heavy. I think the main idea... <laughs> I, think, I don't even know what you're talking about. I think the main what, idea what, what, what of what, was this even about? what Kali's trying to say is that we should all vote for Trump. Nah, no, I'm, just the main idea, that, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm that, kidding. The main I'm idea is that if anybody can be racist. Yeah, like it sure. shouldn't yeah, be. It shouldn't be focused on white people. It shouldn't be focused on white people. It's yeah. just That's, in general, everybody, oh, so was, anybody can be so racist. You, so and it goes <laughs> back to the very beginning. Like, the A lot of people think they know racism, but they yeah. don't. They just it, it's gotten to a point where everybody's pussyfied to where somebody says, um, you know, there's a lot of fucking. Narco, narco motherfuckers in Juarez be like, oh, what well, you got to say about Mexicans? Oh, motherfucker. There's also, this is the first thing people always say, well, there's also fucking narco terrorists here. Like, yeah. there's also white people that do drugs or white people that sell drugs. It's the first thing people say. 
the first thing that people go to is the whole color thing. True. And I know one thing. In order to see color, you got to be a racist motherfucker. Mm -hmm. To yes. see race, you got to be racist. Yeah. So that's why I'm not Shit. a Democrat. Well, the reason I brought up that movie, <laughs> before I went on that, on that moment, I was bringing up that movie because I could kind of relate with the guy. With the, cause you know how his brother, brother yeah, uh, you know how the brother went to prison. He didn't get shot. But I was, I, well, the reason Norman. I wanted to ask you that was because I remember the first day in prison for that guy. He was saying Edward Norton, right? Yeah, he was saying that he like was scared. He was worried. Yeah, he was just in his. Remember? I mean, you everybody, know everybody, everybody that goes to prison is has scared. Has is scared. So that's why I wanted to ask you about your first day. Can you break that down? Can you oh, remember? Shit. Oh, it tripped out because the other day, uh, one of my customers, I was getting a uh, customer, and the dude that uh, her man, you know, he had the, the pinta look. And the pinta? No, no, a it's a certain look that you have uh -huh. in your eyes. Yes. And I recognize it. What the? What is and it then, look? And then he. Can you teach it? It's Postal just like a fucking look, fool. Away, like and I go, orale, and then, he, and then uh, I go, no, Simon, man, this uh, this abriles. And he was like, orale, orale. And he goes, y el rancho? I go, no, pues a el Childress, el, el Roche, el Clemens. Y orale, orale. Y le ante mi número en, en, en el 2001. Dijo, alabra. I go, Simón, ¿qué es? 1049167. Dijo, ah, cabrón, ¿cuándo estabas en el Middleton? It was just shit, prison shit. And I was there. We were there at the exact same time. That's fool. crazy. Oh, shit. We were there, in, we were there at, at when 9-11 happened and they fucking rushed us inside and everything, like, we were there at the same fucking time. How long oh, were you in shit. there when that happened? Like two years now? <laughs> I had been in there already two years, but I had only been in the system about about a month. In prison? In the actual prison system. Yeah. You went from jail and then to <coughs> Yeah. I barely, and he was there at the same time. So then the first day, walk us through that. So the first day is, they're like, you're like, you get there on the bus. What time was it at? I was like, no, fuck it, because we traveled overnight. <laughs> what we was the weather? overnight in a bus. Um, this was in Houston? This is like, no, Abilene, Texas. Okay, that's where you first started. Yeah. Um, so you get off the bus. It was like 10 in the morning. Everybody gets off. They give you a sack lunch. And as soon as you go in. What's in this lunch? It's just a bologna sandwich. That's it? Not even no juice? Cheese. A cock meat sandwich? No, oh, cock meat sandwich. Or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um... You go in and then they, they, they shave your head and they put everybody into this fucking room. It's like a fucking, like a holding room. It's like a big ass glass thing. Everybody's in there. Um, people start clicking up. If you're, if you're there from from here, it's all gente from El Paso, but you get there and it's got people from West Texas and you're all kicking and you're watching, you start watching TV and shit. Uh, then you go to Chow. I remember... Uh, Oh, you start watching chain. TV. When were you watching TV? Oh, right there in the holding area after you shave your head and you take a shower. And they oh, you're just there chilling? Yeah, and... Uh, Everybody in the same room? I caught chain. Yeah, it's one big-ass room. I caught chain with some veteranos from here that have already been there since the 80s in and out. And um, they were fucking with me, fool. Like, they were fucking with me, like, ¿Qué vas a comprar en la tienda? They were already making their list and shit. And I'm like, I don't even have money and shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck. They are giving me the slang and shit. How'd you feel? Like, were you scared? Were you? Uh, I was. Yeah, I was scared, nervous. man. Nervous. Fear keeps you alive. Were you nervous? Or um, frosty. I was frosty as fuck. Cause what, is that? I was, what does that mean? He's ready. But I was like 21, 22, 21 years old, 22, 22 years old, and I'm like 123 pounds. That's and these big. dudes are big motherfuckers. <laughs> fuck you. A uh, bunch of big motherfuckers and shit, and I don't know shit. Um, and I remember uh, the guard opens up the door and we're going to go to eat. And the guy, I need 20. And, you know, like with the twang and shit, and a bunch of us started coming out. He, says, he closed the door and he tells to the other guard, he goes, I reckon they don't know how to count around her. And then the guy goes, nah, look at that one yonder over there. Get off that goddamn window, boy. And I was like, oh, shit. And I look at the dude that I was with. And he's like, yeah, that's how they talk out here. Yonder. Like, look at that one over there, yonder. Come on. And we fucking, and then we go to the Chaha, and that's when the first, that first, first Chaha prison scene where it's like the big ass thing, everybody's wearing white, and you're just like, damn, and I'm just like, somebody gonna try to shank me or what? So it's just like a little cafeteria? Big cafeteria, like a high school one. You just go in, what kind of food do they give you? 
the first day? Oh, shit. <clears throat> what was for lunch? <clears throat> That's a good fucking question. I don't remember my Was the food name. ever good? Like, were you like, hey, it's not bad? Yeah. Yeah? It's That's not good. That bad. You're welcome. Because we pay taxes. I'm fucking kidding, Actually, dude. Actually, TDC, ah, watch me get into this. TDC is self-contained. Oh, no shit. TDC, we, we grow our own food. Oh, wow. We grow our own cattle, our own pigs. No we shit. slaughter them, everything. Yeah, that's dope. That's a thing, that's, brother. That's, that's or we cool. make our own clothes, that's soap, crazy. everything. You that's leave, dope. I you, think that's fucking cool. You leave that place healthier than when you make get it? Make food. Make, we make our own shoes. Dang, everything no is way. made by them. Sheets. Everything, mattresses. So you can pretty much learn almost everything. Like yeah. Trade, you could That's learn fucking good trade. trades and shit. That's dope. But yeah, the whole Texas thing. Nah, motherfucker, it's Texas. <laughs> we make everything. All right. Okay, so keep yeah. going with that. This first ain't no day. federal pussy shit. <laughs> so then you, how do you pick your seat <laughs> when you're oh. walking? When you get your food, Texas. Oh, so just as you're going, the dudes that you're with, like. You're gonna sit four at a table. Oh, okay. So you can't really choose that. So the, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Like, oh, you sit. It's here. not like the other ones where like you go. Nah, you're gonna sit with the four that you're with. So everybody tries to stay together. And the yeah, same. then after you finish eating, what happens? Because well, as you're go, as you're sitting down, they're already sitting down, sitting down. They're already making their one stand up. So you're there for less than three minutes. You gotta eat fast. But once the cop, the guard comes with on your table, you gotta start. You gotta get up. Really? You gotta. Eat so you get up and you're just like. Eat. To the fucking window, yeah. That's fucked up that they have the liberty to just treat you like shit. Because I mean, it's not the liberty, like fool. Shit. We broke the law. Right? Yeah, but still, like, even if even if I wasn't there for what I was convicted for, uh, I I had already done a lot of shit, fool. You look, that's the worst thing you can do to a uh, to somebody who is actually a fuck up is feel sorry for them. No, everybody has to pay for their actions, fool. Everybody. No, I get what you're saying. But there's levels of prison. That but I think also because. What I've learned is how prison went from more of like uh, rehabilitative to just punitive. It's not even supposed to be rehabilitative. But I think I you think fuck it up, be. you fuck up. Because you were lucky that you had a skill that you could start your own business. But say you didn't have that and you just went back into your old way of life because you can't get a Nobody job. Nobody taught me to start a business. This. No, but I mean you had a skill that you could you could uh, you could monetize. Everybody, look, you gotta remember, in this world, there's people that will work. There's people that won't. It's just, that's the way it is. Okay, you know, like in the fucking wilderness, fool, there's there's a herd of, like, let's say fucking buffalo, mm-hmm. right? And they all graze together and everything. And and the ones that, that, that are out there, you know, eating good and mm-hmm. they, they run or whatever, they're in shape, fool. Like, they want to survive. Survive and they, over the face. You know what I mean? Exactly. When the fucking lions come and they take off, the one that falls behind... Cause he was he was too busy doing other shit, or he's just weak. He's fucked, fool. That's the way it's supposed to be. So like, if a motherfucker is is stupid enough not to learn from his mistakes and wants to keep doing the same shit and keep going back, the man don't that's feel sorry issue. for him. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. Though I'm just trying to say, give them the opportunity. So we all have opportunity, man. There's a lot of opportunity in there. <laughs> that they there is just a lot of motherfuckers are are slave to the no, whole thing. No, but they're thing. taking it down a lot. I'm good. They, I'm 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 no, I'm no. good with Carlos. I understand where he's going. <laughs> no, with because this. back in the day there used to be a lot. Okay, you had the opportunity. Like, okay, we'll we'll teach you a trait. So when you get trade. out, you don't get out a trade. So you know they when you do get that out, now. So when you no, they took them off. They took them off. This has been going. Donald into Trump just punitive. passed just passed a new law, the first step back. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know you were making your rounds around the jail. I was gonna, oh, say, I was gonna say. I have, a, I, have, I have a criminal justice degree as well. <laughs> so I, I didn't know you. Nah, fool. They didn't take anything out. Look, this is what they did. This is what they did do. Because I was there during it. That's why I got my first credits. <laughs> I got my first credits when I was there. Everybody gets their GED. And then I started doing vocationals. I got, I got NCC, NCER for fucking carpentry and everything. What did happen is that the motherfuckers that had, say, 15 years and up, they weren't giving them the school anymore because they're going to be in there all, anyways. They were wasting their so time. So they concentrated on giving the school to the ones that were short timers. Mm-hmm. So nah, that was that. That's a play on words. They did take it away for dudes that are gonna be in there for a long time. But everybody, everybody that's gonna get out, they help them with shit. Fool. But there should be more. Why? Because why are people going back to jail? And 
because they, because want they have to, the mentality they have the mentality that the system is against them and that they they're entitled to be do what they gotta do to survive in their words because for so my they keep doing the same from my understanding they're forced to have to do the same shit still because they can't get the jobs they no they, they can't can get in look you want to okay let's go back to this this is to all you motherfuckers right there i go to tony ponce fool Tony Ponce, I got an interview with him. He was the owner, and uh, Ivan will fucking know about this. I show up, fool, with my GPS monitor on house arrest. I've been out about a week and a half. And he goes, your cousin tells me you want a job. I go, yeah. Because you were locked up. I go, yeah. How long? It's about 10, 10 years, man. He goes, what were you in there for? Shot two people. You can't. You Allegedly. Can't, you can't. Well, you can't be in there. Well, allegedly, fuck all that. Forget about that. He goes, what were you in there for? For shooting two people. He goes, okay. And what? what you know, you can work wherever. I go, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to work. Yeah. He goes, um, and what's that? I go, it's my GPS monitor. Uh, everywhere I go, um, they're watching me. So, like, even if if I get the job, like, once you put me somewhere, you can't move me from there. I cannot do overtime, and, and I have to be home at a certain time. He's like, oh, okay. So, um, can you work, you know, hard labor? I go, yeah. Can you work in Fort Bliss? I go, yeah. He goes, can you start right now? I go, no, no, no. You got to tell me where I'm going to be exactly. And then Monday, when I report, I'm going to give him my schedule where I'm going to be exactly. And then the next day, I can work and I got to go there every Monday. He's like, okay. Um, I've, are you going to have problems if you're fighting people? I was like, nah. I just want to work. Did. Yeah, I almost did. <laughs> uh, I have to work. He's like, okay. So, uh, so that means that next Tuesday you can come. I go, yes. I just need to know where I'm going to be. He goes, you're going to be with Leo. I go, okay. So what I tell him? You're going to be in Fort Bliss. I'll, if you need an exact same point, I'll get it for you. But uh, come next Tuesday and you're hired. Nice. Now, look. That's me mm -hmm. going to get a job, being straightforward. Yeah. I Convicted for shooting two people. Yeah. So all that shit about because of my record and shit, nah, man. Fuck you. But you're just speaking from your own experience. No, no, but you can't you see, like spread that. How, out okay, further, so, sure, so, so, so you're, you're being too. You're being yeah, too like. You're, you're you're being too. You're giving you're them a fucking, to, a fucking a fucking nerd. the fucking the, the fucking bitch. Was like, it's because I got cut with an ounce, and because of my record, I can't get a job. So like, that's why I have to like do what I gotta do to survive. You're being you're being like now. Nah, fuck you're that. being criminal I'm, justice. I, I went up to this this business owner uh -huh. and told him straight out, I just got out of prison. 10 years for shooting two people, man. I cannot be, I cannot do overtime. I have to leave at a certain time. You have to tell me exactly where I'm going to be. All the stipulations. But I want to work. All right, here's your job. Like, there's no yeah. excuse, fool. You're doing... And you're, that's a week and a half after I'm out. So all that shit to me is bullshit, fool. What, what, like you're, doing, saying, what you're doing is criminal justice. That's exactly what you're doing. You want justice for criminals no matter, no matter, no matter what, like... There's you, no excuse. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna. Uh, how can I put it? You're being soft towards this. To, towards you're being like, soft. Fool. No, yeah, I think what I'm trying to say is you're just okay. That happened for you, right? Yeah. But that doesn't mean that happens for everybody. No, and if it wouldn't have, if you wouldn't give me the job, I would have gone somewhere else too. You know, what I mean? you're and, trying, and you can't blame. You also, you came. You live in a city that's. Where there's work like that, like you, it's a, it's a oh, industrial, it's, an, in it's an industrialized, city. or what do you call it? I don't even know. But um, where there was jobs here, you know what I mean? Whatever it, you're living right now, there's there's a shortage of people. Working Look, here's the thing: there's over seven million jobs available right now that are not being filled because some people don't want to fucking work. That's what I'm talking. It goes back to the whole Buffalo thing. There's people, but how many that of those no jobs? matter, there's people that no matter what you fucking do. They're not going to fucking make it. How many of those jobs require you to learn the trade first? But I didn't know nothing about gas. And that's what I'm already. saying. But that's what I'm saying. Like, why aren't we helping these people more? So on? I, all I'm trying to say is make it easier for them to get out and not have Transition. to. Transition. Yeah, not Watch. have to. Because obviously the easier choice is, oh, you have your friends. You have okay, this here's, drug. Here's, here's my answer to that. Let's just do that. Why make it easier? To lower crime. Because what are you well, going to do? Just nah, keep putting that. these people back yeah, in prison? If they keep fucking up, keep locking them up. But yeah. that's just costing everything money. And no, it's not. Texas is, 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 Texas is his own. TDC is his own thing. If we're going to cause the taxpayer shit. 
I mean, you're asking a question that has like so many volumes. You're basically asking, how do we stop people from doing bad things? There's certain people are just gonna how do bad things do no do matter it? what, fool. Yeah. You can't. You can't stop people from making. Bad I know decisions. people. I know people. Look, man. I know people that I can give them all my equipment. Be like, here you go, fool. And they're still be calling me like, fool. It's cause this making excuses. Mm-hmm. How did I start? I didn't have a goddamn thing. Yeah. Nothing, fool. I made my tattoo gun. It's called being an alpha. It's just drive, man. You had drive. Drive, fool. You had drive. You have that want to, 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 to yeah. keep moving and forward. Yeah, and a lot of people don't involved. have it. Yeah. And a lot of people, and it also goes back. Yeah, I can get deep as fuck in this. Okay, so there's a lot of people that be like, I don't need religion. All right, you don't, but there's people that do. Because there's people that need somebody telling them all the time, you can do this, you can mm-hmm. do that. And there's people like me that... I, I'm actually backwards. If you tell me I can't, I'm going to do it. There's choices, man. I'm an well, alpha motherfucker. What I'm like, to say I, really is- am, I don't say it a lot, but I'm a real alpha motherfucker. Like, you can take all this shit from me right here, right now. I lose again. everything. Everything. I don't even have a fucking car. And I promise you, so make I fucking it. promise you, within a fucking week, I'm going to be fucking working somewhere, probably in something I ain't never done before. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to humble myself to go in as a fucking... Dude is getting paid five dollars an hour, and, and I'll take the fucking bus. And within a fucking week, I'm gonna have a fucking paycheck. And what? within a month, I promise you, I'm gonna be a fucking supervisor, and I'll be back on my. This fucking is what feet. I'm trying to tell you. You're basically saying make the system work for people who are like me, who are like hardworking, who are this. But like you're saying, not everybody's like that. You can give people some shit like that or whatever. And when but if they the can't the day, swim, they should sink. But then they're gonna commit a crime. And then they or get locked die. up. And then there's a victim. Plus, Irvin, like well, you're, we're trying to pre- Irvin. Trying, well, what if, well, my, that's what why if I'm the victim? Second what if Amendment, my mom's a victim? Well, that's why the Second Amendment is there. You have the right to defend yourself. Irvin, we're trying to lower Irvin, the amount it's of like, victims. It's like you're like, it, it's because it goes back to that, like taking money from the rich to give to the poor. Like it, it, it goes back to that. Like you want to, you want to, you want to like a super perfect world where everybody is happy. It ain't going to happen because there's people that like are just evil. Doing fool. this shit, but oh, it's not going to work that way. No, I'm not saying that. Let me tell you this. World. Who loves yes, you more? You I'm saying, who, who loves you aim, more? aim for the stars. Who <laughs> loves you more? Land. The guy that gives you money or the guy that teaches you how to make it? What was the question? Who loves, who you, loves you more? You who more? cares about you more? The one that gives you something or the one that shows you how to fucking make it? Well, when there's AI... You're not going to do anything. Look, so well, I'd rather just have the money. It's all no. about choices. Because you can't, you have the choice to be like, you don't want, I don't have a fucking dad. Fuck this bullshit. I'm just going to do yeah. fucked up shit. But you made the choice consciously yeah. to like, it's because that's what I'm trying to say. Do the right thing. Not so everybody, everybody has that mentality. Well, no, but, so that, that's why they're fucked. It's just but choices. Listen, the thing with me, I, have, I don't give that credit to, to myself. I give that credit to my mom. Had I not had my mom, I don't know who I would have been. You can so have a good mom. I'm trying to help people. Kali had don't... the same mom. Yeah, and she was Kali, a great, she Kali was a made, the, made the choice. Yeah, so exactly. Did the things before. My mom blames herself sometimes for the shit that I did. And I tell her, no, it's not you. That was me. I would, I was give, I would give a lot of... I don't take credit for anything. I, even the mentality you have, I'd actually give more credit to my mom than you for being that way. Because I feel like my mom instilled that mentality in us. Not everybody has that person who's, well, who fucked. makes you that way. See, and that's the thing. We... Okay, well, they're fucked. We well, can't be mentors to are everyone. Fucked, okay. These people it's who are fucked, they have nobody. Sense. They're going to be over here committing crimes. Right, they look. need someone we to can't help be, them. We can't be mentors to everyone. Let's but that's say like that the goal. They you know say that mean? they distribute the rich. They distribute richness. Like Everybody's riches. The richest people, they distribute it, and everybody has the same amount of money. Within a couple of months, they're going to get their money back. All the rich people are going to get their money back. Why? <laughs> Because that's just the way it is. Like, you know what? The number one thing, <laughs> the number one reason there's not a lot of rich people, and it's not jobs or anything, it's nothing. The number one thing. Do you know what it is? A ver, look at the guy. a lot of rich people? Why some people are not rich and some people are rich. Ay, ¿por qué? Because it's hard to get into the tech industry and, nope. and real estate. Nope. Money management. Money management. Yeah. If you give somebody... That 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 is, is is has good work ethic and everything. A million dollars, he's gonna do something with those million dollars. You give me a million dollars, fool. I promise you, man. I'm gonna fucking create some shit where I'm gonna have good jobs. But you give somebody that doesn't have the drive or somebody that's always blaming the system money and everything ma- a million dollars, 
And it happens all the time. They win the lottery. What happens? They end up broke again. It's that whole they end up a lot of NFL players. They end up broke. And what do they blame? It's because nobody yeah. taught me. Well, it's a whole Bitch, give, it's common fucking give a man sense. A fish. If you have a million dollars, right. look. But that's the thing. It's because I think you're you're very. No, it's common sense. Just look. thinking of your of your no, own mentality. No way. I'm trying Not to. I'm trying to make people. <laughs> I'm trying Not to make people think like you. Common sense shit. Common sense. If, common if, sense if you have a hundred dollars in your pocket, all right. You have a hundred dollars in your pocket. Are you gonna spend it all on? drinks or are you going to spend 50 and then keep the rest for the next day it's simple what would you do or somebody buy, give you 100 bucks i meal prep here's 100 bucks boom <laughs> are you going to spend it all Gas. in one fucking meal right. and just fuck it or are you going to be like fuck i'm going to keep 50 I'm spend, that depends on the situation i'm going to spend 20 on meal prep and keep the rest <laughs> you see but you're keeping something for it yeah. but you see that's the number one thing and that's why some people will never be rich cuz you can give them everything and then what happens? Like our brother, he knows he's getting a fucking check, so he don't gotta do a goddamn thing. If I was in that situation, let's say, let's say I fucking get shot in the leg, and they they take my fucking, they amputate my leg from the knee. Dude, down. you keep bringing up that shit that you're gonna get shot in your leg. Don't I say am? that shit. Uh, no so way. Let's say they amputate my fucking leg from the knee down, <laughs> right? And I'm getting yes, a fucking yes, yes. a fucking disability. Check. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do with that? That fucking check, I'm gonna fucking use that. It's either a house payment or something because it's constant and I'm still going to get a job. Let's build upon that. Let's I'm move away from this. Bringing, bringing it let's back move to... Well, let, yeah, let's... Okay, just to go for kind it, of sympathize with Irving. I haven't really said anything about this because I sympathize with Irving what he's talking about. Um, it is a little bit of a slippery slope. You know, it's a, it's a more complicated and I think that's what Irving's trying to say. It's like it's more complicated than just saying like, you know, the weak and the and the whatever, but... Um, Survival level of all fittest. The, no, I get you. Of all the, the quotes, and this is a quote from a fucking Kevin James movie of all that, but it was pertaining to education, which I think encompasses what we're talking about. He said, this the one of the hardest things about being an educator is the fact that you can't speed up, you can't give special treatment to the ones that are higher, right? The smarter people, because then the, the weaker ones or the less smart start falling behind, and you can't slow down. For the slower ones, because then the the smarter ones are suffering. So I think that's like a perfect example. Of what well, we're yeah, because it's, it's but that's why they have pre. What are you gonna do? Let's that's see, why but they have. Is, you either give that, that's, what, that's where the the society that's fucked up because your whole life you're told that everybody has to be a college graduate, but not everybody can be. Right. He can be. Yes. That motherfucker has some degrees that yeah. I could never even think of. So the ones you gotta come to a realization: a hey, mijo is not gonna be a college graduate, right. but maybe he's good at mechanics. You can harness something else. Maybe, what? yeah, exactly. That's what it is. You and you I gotta, are always talking about. You that. gotta embrace other shit because the number one thing, like, not everybody's gonna have a fucking four point GPA yeah. when they get their so. By the time they get their associates, two of them. <laughs> uh, but gang. gang. There's some people that just won't make it. So you got to fucking, if you really want to be a good educator, be like, all right, fuck it, this fool. It's, 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 it's looked upon as bad to get a job turning a wrench, which is fucking bullshit. Right. I love because turning wrenches. That happened, what happened is that the emphasis was on college, college, college. So now the dude, nobody knows how to turn a fucking wrench. So now those jobs are paying more because nobody can do them yeah. than the ones that everybody wants. It's top heavy. Everybody with degrees is up here, like top heavy. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. not enough jobs for all of them. Right, right. So why not teach people in prison how to do these type of things? They do. But more. I know auto AC. <laughs> I know auto AC. Mucha gente no lo quiere, like, but that's okay. So that's mucha okay. Gente I guess no it comes down to this. In order for you to commit a crime and do something crazy like that, there has to be something wrong with your head. Like you have to yeah, be in so a shitty I didn't situation. Make parole that much there has to be a shitty situation that you're going through, something that's going down, right? Right. These people are lack motivation. I don't know, whatever. Or you're just a fuck up. Look, man. But li- that's listen, what that's what I'm trying understand. to say. So trying I to, really like the I'm fucking trying to help excitement. These people. So, right. I like the excitement okay. of gangbanging, fool. I really did. Like the whole man, you know what, what it was like? Oh, you don't. So okay. When the excitement like adrenaline rush, right? You do something <clears throat> so, for okay, yeah, so, so what got you into that in the first place? Okay, bete, bete. It was fun as fuck. Irvin, Irvin, Irvin is trying to just weed out the people that are, that are you Need know, in help. a situation where they got upset and they punched someone to or where white somebody criminal. was not upset and he just wanted to fuck somebody up. He's trying to weed out that, that situation. Well, yes, because there's bad people and good people. Look, And there's good I people that I'm were caught in the shit. moment. I can say I'm a piece of shit, but like, it's, it's to the point where like, and it's happened. That was because I'm a piece of shit. Oh, no, you're not. You're just a minority. Nah, bitch, I'm a, a piece minority. of shit. <laughs> Why did I start gangbanging? Because I want to fucking hit fools, fool. Right. I like the excitement of fucking just 
smashing a motherfucker. Exactly. Okay. So look, for a person like you, they could have, you could have gotten, if you had good mentors, good people, they could have put you into a mix, mixed martial arts thing. Man, so you can fuck shit That's up. Thing. So you can fuck shit up the right way there used to and be, get your aggressive they used energy to take, out. How many people have been saved by MMA oh, who yeah, would have otherwise been? Though. Conor McGregor would have probably been a fucking criminal if you would. Yeah. He's over there punching old people when yeah. he's not but look, fighting. But he's already rich. See, but you're not taking, I already told you the answer, but you don't want to hear it. When I was at that age, I was like, fuck all that. I want a gangbang. Yeah. Well, that's the thing because you, you know, didn't have anybody to be I able did. to just bring they, they, used to take, they used to take people to the, they used to take people to the school talking about, you know, the gangbanging this, you can't do this. Look, I've been shot. My homeboy's doing life in prison. And to me, I was like, man, fuck you. I'm going to do that shit too. <laughs> that but sounds that's awesome. What, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, where does that even originate from? Cause I'm a fuck up. No, but like you just wanted it. Maybe you just, I just wanted, wanted it. it. Maybe you. No, but there's always a root. No, no way. No, todo el tiempo. Va a ver, va a ver una que. That's exactly why you're not understanding where I'm coming from. I really, I really did just. And there's a lot of people out there like me, fool. No but, way. Es que no, no todo es, no todo es científicamente expli eh, explicado. You just want to fuck sí, up. Sí, way. No más, no más le gustó, way. Well, no, it's because I think that's where. It, I no, look, look, either. man. There was mentors. There was people always tell me. My mom will tell you. She'll sit there and tell you. The principals used to put aside. Look, he's smart. He can do a lot of shit. And they used to sit down. Look, man. You, you're smart. You can do this. Look, man. I don't want to say the numbers, but my fucking, my fucking. Uh, okay, I'll tell you like this. You've done, you've done, you've done uh, IQ tests and everything, right? Uh, I've never done IQ. Tests. Okay, so an IQ test. Yeah. And your IQ is is only. The ability to learn quick. So an IQ test is like random shit. Like it'll show you like two fucking things that are back to back and then it tells you how to fucking, the third one's missing something and you fill it in. An IQ test is, 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 is comprehensive, but it, it, it's there to find out how fast you learn something, how quick you can grasp things, right? So the higher IQ, the faster you learn things, right? So this is me and fucking... I'm at the Middleton unit, and, and we got 45-minute IQ test. In the first 10 minutes, I'm just like, man, fuck this. This dude named Pelon from San Eli. And I was like, hey, I'm fucking boom. And then and he's like, and the teacher was like, you better get on your IQ test. I said, like, ah, fuck that bitch. And then there was a fucking desk with the fucking basket on the bottom. Uh, uh, and I go, zzz, zzz. you know how you can make it vibrate? You ever did that? With what? With oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, and then the teacher's like, stop that. Stop that. You guys, you better take this serious. And it was already like 25 minutes in, right? It's a 45 minute test. Right. It's a time test. And I go, what is this for, anyways? She goes, it's an IQ test. This is gonna, this is gonna affect your whole incarceration. Oh, you're going to go off of this IQ test to see what job you're going to get. I'm like, oh, Oops. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I fucking... Like in the last fucking 15 minutes of the test. And I'm fucking breezing through it. Just speed reading it and boom, 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 boom. I got 111. Sounds pretty low. No? <laughs> the, average is, the average is like, what, 98? Yeah, we can look it up. I'll yeah. Jamie. I Jamie. Was that was 111... A 45-minute IQ test that I did in 15 minutes, fool. And I rushed through it. I even skipped some shit. I know, I know what, Urban. No, look. look this I'm is, not this trying is, to, is, to, no, no, to, no, to speak the, on the intelligence reason, or anything. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. It goes back to this. Look, there's, there's going to be people that will not grasp a normal way of living, of of doing what you got to do to survive, doing it the right way, following the law. There's people who will never grasp that. To <clears> them, <throat> the system is against them because we're told that since we're kids. And, and, and everybody's everybody coming, everybody coming from the point of view that it. there's a chemical imbalance that doesn't Similar, allow them, kind of. that doesn't allow them to, mm -hmm. to have that I'm, type I'm, of comprehension. I'm coming at it from like a psych psychology perspective, yeah. I guess you could say. Okay, for example, like um, pedophiles, right? Pedophiles... Are usually uh, there's a moment in your life where your your sexuality is I guess you could say like imprinted or determined. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah, Wait. so there's a, a moment in your life, and a lot of these pedophiles, they're around the age of like six to nine. They themselves were touched, and they developed their ma their brain developed uh, an attraction to that because it happened to them. So what I'm trying to say is these people who are fucked up, 
who like you who you're like, I just wanted to fuck shit up. Mm-hmm. How do you know an incident didn't happen in your life that can be traceable? Maybe your dad, maybe my mom, maybe something where we can be and that then that can that's a form of helping because once you identify something you're saying true. that when he was young like his dad see, beat the shit out of him maybe. or here's the like, thing here's the thing though my tia beat the shit so, out of so him. let's maybe. say yeah. let's say he's right let's right. say he's right. right it all goes back to one instance see what can you do about that? Exactly. So this Not is a where, damn thing. No, yeah, so you, you can't. can't you there's can't, therapy. No, you're trying to. Well, therapy. Okay, fuck it. But you're trying to. Before therapy, before all that, you got to make the motherfucker understand. Look, bitch, you can't do this shit. Right? Mm-hmm. And the only way he's going to understand. If I had been out five years. If I only done five years, six years. I would have been back to the same. It takes extreme measures. Uh-huh. Everybody's going to be different. But it'll take an extreme thing to actually knock somebody down for real. So they fucking see it. Some will never see let's it. Let's say, let's say that this pinche uh, niños <laughs> nunca, <laughs> nunca, nunca, espérate, güey. Nunca IQ, en su vida, way. nunca yeah, en su vida lo tocaron, güey. What if this person never IQ? got touched? <laughs> that situation never happened, <coughs> but he just likes doing that to children. Like, it's so this is a thing. <laughs> what if that never happened? Hey, it's ma- the fucking around. What I'm talking about is the majority of the time, pedophiles what if it's get not? to that point. So then the smaller subsec- sec- subsection then of people who just turn out that way, then there's other, then we figure out other ways to help but those people. I, what I believe is that it's not always, it, there's know, not, not always not an always. explanation. All I'm trying to say to is things. there's not always an explanation. You're right. There's not, just sometimes just people are si pasa, up, wey, like, like gente les gusta And, and if, you, if, you, if you spend all your time trying to, to figure it fix out. that, you're going to fuck up your own shit. No, no, but you're going to make sure you're good. I'm not trying to say I'm going to fix it. I'm saying... That's the, that, sh- that I feel is the point of prison to be able to rehabilitate nah, these people. Because there's who are people broken. in there that, that, that are just never going to fucking. Because there's they're people broken. in there, fool. There's people in there that tell you straight out, like, man, if they let me out right now, I'm going to go fucking do something. And they've been in there 15, 20 years, yeah. fool. What, yeah. what about me, wey? Que si yo no salgo, wey? El día que, que me agarraron con poquillo de grifa, wey. Uh-huh. You think I'm a fucked up person? Que si me. Look, and I, and, and I go over there and I need rehabilitation. Do you think I need rehabilitation? No, what are you talking about? There's though? different levels of it. Like, like some people... Como yo, wey. Como, como dices, like, people that go to prison, they uh-huh. need... Some of them need rehabilitation. Like, do you think I like need rehabilitation? Because like, I went to prison. Like, I went uh-huh. to jail, you know? Like, yeah. you and think I need it only took you rehabil- one time, and that's it. You you, you snap that, like, oh, shit, fuck this. Now yeah, people yeah, yeah. do that. Then there's people like me. Like, I'm telling you, my, what did my mom say? Carto lo estoy sacando. I was kept fucking up. Yeah. And if I would have been out... Five years, six years sooner, mas, I would have still been fucking up. It's just there's certain levels. You, some people yeah. learn fast. Some people learn l- later. Some people will never fucking learn. I don't think. I, I don't know if you're thinking of rehabilitation. Like, oh, let's give them therapy. No, or, no, no. Rehabilitation. Like, let's no, show them traits. Look, look man, I'm telling you, because I was in there. When I was in there, mm-hmm. they do fucking offer you school, fool. And this is what they tell you. Look, man. If you stay out of trouble. Mm-hmm. We can, you can go to school and learn this, but they don't want to fucking learn. Uh, but They'll also, be like, man, yeah. fuck this. Bitch. I think it's also a cultural thing. It's a cultural Porque, thing. Yeah, because like my tío Wero, let's say that you, you're you're talking about this with my tío Wero, and you're telling him, oh tío, es que yo pienso que con rehabilitación usted va a cambiar. Well, my tío Wero is gonna be like, ¿qué es aquí, pinche viejo pendejo, chavalío pendejo? Like he's not, no te va a creer, güey, porque yeah. they're because they're raised program. different, man. No, and, no, look, this is this is the reason, and it's also one of the reasons that I'm not. It all goes back to. Culture and politics, fool. The reason that I left the whole Democrat shit and everything is as a Democrat, because we're Mexican, we're supposed to be Democrat, and the system is built against us. It's a white man's world. You see, it all goes back to it's a racist place. You're never going to make it. So you start thinking, fuck school. Fuck all this. I'm not going to do shit anyways. Mm-hmm. There's nobody's going to help me. So why am I going to be even fucking good? You start fucking up. Next thing you know, you already got a couple records, and, and then that's when the second part comes in. Well, because of my record, I can't do shit. And you're <coughs> fucked. So that and happens it, to a lot of people. Yeah, it does. So that, those are the people I'm trying to say, help them. Some of them won't be ever always, safe. Though. No, I know you can't always. But I think you guys are going to extremes. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're saying yeah, that you in the prison, them. they should help them. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is this. Every single one that goes in there is going to get a GED. Every single one. Every what single one that goes in. And they're going to give you college. I have a master's degree Bitch. and I'm having a hard time getting a job. Bitch. Well, see, but what you with, about a GED, right now? with a GED, okay. Okay, let's go to the extreme. Okay, let's say a dude. Didn't have a GD, goes to prison, he does 15 years, and uh, he has a, the mentality that you think that he's going to have, be like, nobody fucking helps me. He gets out, he's like, well, I'm not going to fucking, 
fuck this, nobody wants to give me a job. And then next thing you know, he's 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 uh starts selling fucking drugs and everything and, and then he gets arrested and then people like you'll be like, Well, it's because they didn't give him a skill while he was no. in there. Like, no, he did get the skill, he just didn't right. fucking want there's it. There's a lot of people that don't and even there's go the to other jail. one. There's the other yeah. one that 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 thinks more like me. And he's like, man, I'm out, man. Fuck that place. Yeah. Like, I'll work wherever. Yeah. I'll work. I'll do a fucking car wash. I'll work wherever. And he starts building up. That's the difference. Yeah. So what you're saying, I think we're agreeing, but you're not seeing it. There's there's two different ways. There's the punitive and the rehabilitative. So maybe there should be. There's room for both. They're both in there. I'm telling you, there is. You just don't believe me. No, no. no. What I'm saying from my studies, I realize that they're cutting down on all these things. They cut and down for the on. ones that are not going to get out. In the, in, in, look, man, what, what, what good is it to teach somebody right now? Let's say right now there's a dude with a 25-year sentence, and, and, and one of your vocational classes is, is uh, let's say the one that I took, Auto AC, all mm-hmm. right? How to fucking do Auto AC and retrofit. But he's not getting out to 25 years from now. Mm-hmm. What good is it teaching him if by the time that he gets out... Ya no existe esa madre. Ya no existe esa madre. So they did cut it back, but they cut it back and only offer it to the ones that are actually going to get out sometime. But from what I've, what I've read, they're cutting down on the majority of the programs and it's just becoming just more punitive. Like, yeah, because okay, like you're saying, it. yeah, there's that fear like, oh, I just don't want to go back. So, yes, there's a place for that. That's fine as well. But I just feel like the whole system yeah. as a whole is just going towards like slowly. You see, but then it goes back to the very beginning. There is no obligation for the government to make sure you're not a fuck up. But I think they do have an obligation Irvin, to Irvin. the citizens to make sure that the, the community is not. But then, Irvin, they already did their crazy. job. Let's say that. The let's say that people. Let's say that this per like a person never goes to jail. He never goes to jail, and he's just a normal citizen, and he has uh, he makes the choice to have zero drive, mm-hmm. to not do anything. Like you Israel. know what I'm saying? So there's just. It, it just goes like the, the scenario that you're putting is this person is going to jail, so he should have a trait. There's there's people that have never been to jail, and they never learn a trait because les vale verga. Like there's just and like those, that. There's people, people that go to jail, jail and les vale verga. Like it, it happens both and ways. That's what I'm trying. To and help, what he's saying but, is, but and help, what he's saying is that these people help them because they're right. gonna be because c- then they're gonna crimes. come back and kill yeah. somebody. Okay, but these people find the motivation because if you don't, they're just well, gonna get. But worse what if they don't? What if they don't want to change? Guess what? They're never getting out. They don't want to change. What I'm trying to say is at least give them more opportunities. They do get opportunities, and I'm telling you that they do get the opportunity. Just not everybody wants it. And also, the other part is this: some people are just. It's not. It's not the government's job fool that's the that's the well, other that's part what too. I was gonna say it's not the government's job to make a good person keep, yeah to make a good person well, it's not we can all agree that it comes down to self-accountability and self-discipline exactly. and, and i, I was gonna tell is... you because i get what you're saying Irvin. that you yeah, have to give definitely. people the opportunity sorry yeah, Irvin. i'm telling you because i do get what you're saying i'm yes. telling you because but i think it is the government's job to have right. a healthy society no but whatever yeah, influence that's why they, they got them off the in the military it's gonna get back out no but you think about in the military so you're not it's everything you're talking about i'm telling you because in the military it's everything that you're talking about it's equal opportunity for everybody yeah when you enlist everybody starts with the same shit and you don't understand you don't know how many fucking idiots yeah. came in the first check they got they bought a truck they couldn't afford and they're in debt and they have to go to a fucking class to learn how to fucking finance their money yeah. Yeah. they had the same opportunity that i had that this other guy had we all yeah. came from the it's, same fucking bus it's not supposed to be equal outcome it's equal opportunity <laughs> you give everybody the same fucking thing some people are gonna do good with it some people are gonna fuck up yeah and you can't fucking feel sorry for the ones that fuck up because it's on them nobody taught them okay he should have fucking looked oh well, it's because it's okay here's your second chance he gets out Still keeps fucking up. So you're saying that it's now the government. The government got him off the street, put him in there for a while, and they taught him some trade. He didn't want to learn it. He gets out, he keeps fucking up. And it's still the government's fault that he's fucking up. Fuck no. Fuck that fool. He keeps fucking up. Lock him up again. So yeah, so maybe there is room also for both ideas. Okay, that guy already fucked up. Okay, now he gets some more punitive. Yeah, so that's why the the president that everybody hates and calls him a racist, he did the first step act. Like, a lot of dudes that are in there for just drug offenses and everything, they're fucking taking off their record. They're giving them extra class and everything. They are. That's what he did. He's try, he, He's getting out a bunch of minorities out of, out of, out of there because it's a fucking a trap. Okay, so he's doing that. But a lot of those fools are going to go back in. Why? So, so, now, so now that he's done that, okay, so let's do this. So he's done that. He's giving people more vocations. 
letting them out earlier and everything. If the dude goes and fucks up again, do you still want the government to do it again? I'd say maybe different approaches. So he, so he gets. Oh man, out. that's just because it's like it's, it's like it's when like, a when a man beats a beats up a woman and the woman's like thinking like that. You know what? Now nah, let's try a different thing. Let's try a different thing. El güey se la sigue puteando. Oh, the IQ. Ay, no mames, hasta cuándo vas a llegar? Oh yeah. Porque me este güey te va a seguir metiendo <laughs> so una chinga todo said. el tiempo. Okay. So I agree. Okay, let's teach us. Agree to disagree. But if they keep coming in and out, what? Oh, that's what I'm saying. There's also room for the punitive side. <laughs> <sex. laughs> you can always agree to disagree. What was, what was the, the, the average IQ? Yeah, so this is actually pretty interesting. So this is, this is from Healthline.com. This is from 2018. So Fuck Healthline. Most people, most people, about 68%, have an IQ between 85 and 115. Mm. Only a small fraction of people have a very low IQ, which is below 70, or a very high IQ, which is above 130. Yeah. Uh, so the average IQ in the United States is 98 uh, now, ask me if the uh, United States is in the top 10. Probably not, and I'm going to tell not. you exactly why. Why? I mean, I got the guy. I know exactly why. I got the guy. Because being born in the United States makes you a privileged motherfucker. Who do you think number one Because is? we do so good. Number one, as far as IQ, uh, China. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. 108. China. That's why they're, they're uh, protesting. And then right Singapore is tied. Singapore is very... Uh, Sing very, very, very strict. You sing. Irvin, I like strict. I like how you have like this the crime rate this tasteful. You know, hey, you know, in you, your know mouth. The, you know why the, 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 the crime rate <laughs> Hey, Google real quick okay. the crime rate in Singapore. Dude, but we talked wow. about pretty much summarized everything I wanted to ask you, you know, like your drive to like own a business and to have you know this tattoo shop and everything, like that like what, and exactly the music what, career music and career clothing, huh? clothing you went all over the world like yes i'm going back this this year so you know like that pretty much answered because of your fucking and just i'm not drive, special man. i'm not special you just nothing hard, special working about me. hard i'm a we left fuck off. up you just look special ed that's about I don't it think, right <laughs> <laughs> just play. Mm. hold on we left off we didn't finish the story you had just finished your first day and then that's it so you ate and then you went back uh, then you start seeing the that politics. For 10 years? Prison, prison is very uh, there's a lot of politics in Neta. there. A lot. Um, every everybody is tries to save face because it's backwards from out here. Out here, if you want to live a good life, uh, the same thing is true. In here, in here, out here, and in there, you mind your own business. That's number one. But out here, if somebody wrongs you, like say somebody goes up and hits you or does does you wrong the right way to take care of it is let the law system it. take care of it all right you don't fucking retaliate or nothing in there it's backwards uh if somebody wrongs you you have to be extra hard you have to come back more because the one that comes back the the hardest is gonna be the, the the more strong one the stronger one and and the one that saves face so you got you actually have to be violent to be good in there which is weird mm -hmm. so there's two ways of doing time one you can be a pussy and and pay protection or whatever and you'll make one the first parole or second parole and you're out or you can just uh, put your fucking hands up be an aggressive motherfucker and get respect from everybody and do most of your time with just doing the last nine ten months on house arrest yeah. which is what i did uh you just wanted to <laughs> More than anything, you wanted to. I wasn't to gonna be. I wasn't gonna come out. I, I thought of it too. It was more of a. I honor. didn't want to come out. I didn't want to come out. Once I was ready in there six years, I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I might as well do most of it or, or all of it because I'm not gonna. I don't want to be out there on probation, and uh, you know I can do it easy. Uh, so sorry. Going back to so you said you wanted a Singapore's crime rate. Well, yeah. I found that says that it went down twenty percent. Yeah. It's just an offense. It's almost years. non-existent. But here's an here's an interesting thing. Wow. Uh, Singapore is infamous for incorporating corporal Hell and yeah. capital punishment. Uh, yeah. Caning. It's a deterrent. <laughs> it says it's a, a deterrent. flexible cane of 1.2 meters in <laughs> length and 1.2 <laughs> in diameter. Oh, so, so here's a maximum of 24 strokes. Here's, on here's, the bare here's the other buttocks. part. Here's the other part. So okay, that sounds sexual. Twenty four <laughs> strokes on the bare butt. And that's where that's where society has <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> People have gone from deterrence, which is a show of strength <clears throat> and a show of of actual consequences to well, we gotta understand them that yeah. that that's where that's where it's fucked up now so it used to be like like what's happening right now with iran you know iran's been attacking the united states since 1979 this road all that shit's been going on that they've always been doing that then 
Trump comes and he fucking like, all right, here you go. Because nobody wants to hit him. Everybody was always scared. Well, what did they come and retaliate? And what? It's the same thing as like a fucking bully in your fucking neighborhood. He bullies everybody around. And, and if one dude stands up one day and fucking slaps the shit out of him, everybody's going to be like, yeah, he deserved it. It's the same thing with these motherfuckers, but everybody's mad. Well, I guess because nobody wants a war, man. I don't want a war. See, that's nobody the thing. wants a war. But people oh. made fun of people made fun of him in the beginning because he he made the military so big and 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 fucking space force and everything, but look at how fucking advanced the United States is. He was able to kill this fool from a fucking drone, just kill him and the people in the car with him. That's how precise it was, fool. Without having we don't to kill even any need other boots on the ground teams. anymore. The United no. States is so advanced that if there was a war, you don't even need people on the ground, fool. That's why Trump did what he did to make it the biggest motherfucking most powerful military in the fucking world. That motherfuckers like fools in the ships. Oh, the Truman is out there right now fucking, yeah, doing the five horns and shit on these oh, fucking yeah. Russians. Uh, uh, so fu- deterrence, like in Singapore, they know that if they fuck up, they're going to get lashed. But what about there's fuck ups up there? What about so the military is so big and that's what he did. He showed them that he's got so much power that will be like, oh, shit. Like, all right. What about uh, not like a military war, but just people who take it upon themselves who are not affiliated with the government and they just decide to do terroristic activities? Vigilantes? How do you stop those? You smash them, fool. <laughs> like Because I feel like that's what he incited. Like, okay, maybe the military is not going to attack back. because. But what about all the people that were like... like militias and shit? You know, you know what's happening this morning? What? Oh, you don't all right, know. look at the guy. What about those people who are just like, you know what, fuck America, let me go attack them personally. Okay, so who did Trump kill? Their... Soleimani. Okay, who was he? He was a le- military leader. Uh huh. What was his number one objective? Kintar. Kintar. Kill Americans. Okay. He's responsible. He's the one that uh, he's the one that came up with the new IUDs that are actually going through the fucking tanks and shit, and and that's why there's over two thousand uh, United States servicemen missing limbs and shit. And he's responsible for over 600 deaths. Mm-hmm. He was their fucking right-hand man. That was his job. They, they used a better part of the $1.6 billion that Obama gave him so they wouldn't attack nobody. To Because uh, after he gave him that money and pallets, that's when the, all the, the, the terrorist activity came up. That was his job since the fucking 80s. Mm-hmm. He, was, he was the number one terrorist motherfucker. That was his job. He was doing proxy wars. So he's in Iran. But he's controlling people in, 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 in fucking in Lebanon and everybody. He's controlling all these fucking all these fucking cells that are doing this terrorist shit, right? Mm-hmm. So he goes he had he had him attack the embassy. And then he's done a lot of shit. But the very last one was he had his militia attack the embassy. All right? Because these fucking Americans, they were burning it down. Mm-hmm. See, but Iran's been used to a bunch of fools just caving like Obama, Benghazi and all that. It's the same shit. It was the same dude. They killed all those people in Benghazi, mm-hmm. the, 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 the fucking, the, the, the soldiers, and he killed the ambassador of the United States. He thought it was going to be the same thing. He'd go over there, attack, kill some Americans. That was his job, mm-hmm. right? That was his fucking job. And he had him attack the embassy, and he left Iran. He wasn't even supposed to leave Iran. And he goes into Iraq. Iraq has, is like this with the United States, because the United States is helping him build a government up, right? So he goes in there, muy chingon, and Trump takes him out. Boop. He wasn't even in Iran, so it wasn't even an act of war. As a matter of fact, him going into Iraq a as a military is already of an act what does of that war do, on Iraq. What does, what does killing him do? A deterrent. Well, he was, he was he's a deterrent. Yeah, he was the number. Well, he was already marked as a as a terrorist for all the deaths. Like, what, what does that stop? It did stop. So that's what you don't understand what's happening in Iran right now. So that same night, to save face, I- Iran started fucking throwing missiles into iraq knowing they weren't going to kill nobody fool because mm-hmm. they even let the iraqis know that they were going to start throwing these bombs towards the base and everybody got out of there in that fucking instant there was this fucking airline because they didn't know how to they don't know how to run a real war oh, the ukraine thing all they've done they shot down a fucking airplane and at first they were denying it then yesterday the leader of iran it has never happened in the history of iran came up and apologized like no yeah we fucked up we did that it was human error you know what's happening right now? What's happening? All the people from Iran, they're like, they're, they're, they're protesting right now, like millions, fool. 
and they, they're trying to get rid of the government. And you know what, how so many people are protesting? Because Soleimani's gone, fool. He was the one that was bringing down, okay, a month and a half ago, they were protesting the government, and he killed over 600 protesters. Mm -hmm. That was his job, to keep everybody stepped down. Now that he's gone, they don't got nobody to fucking take care of the protesters. So they're 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 saying down with the with the with this caliph with these uh, Islamic government, mm -hmm. and they were saying the 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 big devil was right because it's the United States is big devil, the little devil is Israel. We we believe the the big devil over you. They're fucking protesting right now. They're about, they're, about to, they're about to drop the fucking Islamic government in Iran. But that doesn't Iran. mean that it's the majority just because right. there's protests. Oh, no, no, it's not the majority. Just start wrapping it up. It's, it's not the majority, but it's uh, millions of people that don't All I'm trying to say is, what does it do, though? Killing that guy. Like, well, he, already had, he was already marked for killing so many Americans, fool. But doesn't that just make and he was the one that was Irvin. Doesn't that just make things worse? No, what happened is that Iran scaled back and they're like we don't want to fuck but what with about the all the other people that aren't like part of the government fuck them like let's attack everybody <laughs> fuck them they're fuck not them attacking all. everybody they that, went to prison it was so fucking <laughs> precise that he just killed the Hopefully one they get no, I mean, all the people that prison. loved him yeah. all the people that are maybe they should put him in prison thing. so they can get rehabilitated that, that, that's all propaganda trying to make they don't love him fool that, that's what I'm trying to tell you they're protesting millions of people are protesting so much the whole Thing that they loved them and he was revered it wasn't fucking true fool how do you know because it's already <laughs> they're already doing it today everybody's speaking up against <laughs> it right. hold on hold on okay Irvin, maybe you were the one that said to maybe, not bring up maybe let's there's wrap it up your, your customer's gonna be here soon <laughs> maybe there's a group of let's, people let's that start to wrap it up testing. one yeah, last yeah, thing yeah. it goes back to it some yeah. people just ain't gonna get it <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's just wrap it up i want no, you to understand i want you to finish up i want you to finish up by letting us know what is it that you want to leave like what's the mark that you want to leave like through your music through your to your art because you're a tattoo artist we always talk about that if there's one Damn, thing that I you're just, like, this is what I want to leave behind. Is there anything? Well, like it was that? A, somebody asked me, "What do you want your legacy to be?" Okay. I never, I never knew what what it was until, but they asked me that, and I was mm -hmm. thinking, "Yeah, what is gonna be my fucking legacy?" Mm -hmm. um, I think I've done it. Okay. When when I got out, it was cooler for people to claim to be from somewhere else. I hated that. I got kicked out of bars for it. Because I was out and I would hear motherfuckers, the number one thing that they would do, they would meet a girl, girl, it's because I'm from Boston, or girl, it's because I'm from Cali, just to get ass. Yeah. And I'll be like, fool, what's up then? You know, you, you know. And when I started this, that's why, okay, when I started this music shit, the only one that was doing it was uh, like, there was more people doing it, but the only one that I saw doing video was Dreamer. Rest in peace, my boy. And, and I was like, man, I got to start doing videos because nobody's doing it. YouTube was not a video thing like that back then. And uh -huh. to me, the 90s were all videos. I yeah. used to stay up watching videos. So I started to love my city. And and it started making people think like, I used to get fucking shit on all the time. You probably, I, mean, I probably told you about like, why are you proud to be from El Paso? Like, it is El Paso. Like, what the fuck? And I was like, nah, because I'm proud to be from El Paso. Mm -hmm. Like, Chuco, I remember there was some Twitter shit. There was some girl that one of the fucking... Uh, Neon deserts, and she was like, "Oh my god, I just saw a guy with a chuko tattoo, ghetto." Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But now, I think I had something to do with the fact that everybody wants they're naming restaurants as chuko bars. The whole thing about being proud of being from El Paso has really taken off in the past ten years, and I feel I had something to do with it. Yeah, I awesome, really dude. did. Definitely. So when some people say, "What's you gonna be lazy?" I think I've done it. I think I, I, I um. You left your mark. Uh, yeah. So it's like Coco fool. Like as long as people remember you, you're gonna be alive. Like that fucking Texas has a representatives thing. I mean that's fucking, that's fucking law, fool. Like yeah. not law, it's for resolution. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like yeah. as long as people remember me, there's gonna be look, also I know I understand that my music is not I love my city is very elementary, but I did it like that on, on purpose. Cause like a lot of dudes what they fuck up is they make music that they like. Yeah. So you see, a motherfucker is always listening to Tupac. <clears throat> oh, he's talking about it. It's just me against the world. He does. He 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 models himself after Tupac. Mm -hmm. Somebody models themselves after Lil Wayne or whatever. Mm -hmm. I love and I still love Chicano rap, but Chicano rap is a is a lot of crybaby shit, fool. It really is. It's always the system is against me. Fuck the police. Uh, I'm I'm brown and I'm and uh, most of music is like that. Uh -huh. So I wanted to stay away from that. I wanted to do something that was more, that, that was more appealing to other people. So I did. 
I love my city, which is fucking elementary, fool. It's like a the rhymes, the rhymes are are fucking. I love it. I love my fucking yeah, city, yeah, yeah. Chuco Town, aka the yeah. Sun City. Like you know, it's waiting, reminiscent of Viva La waiting like a waiter. Like yeah, and I knew it was elementary because I could rap. He's seen me. Rap. I could rap real shit, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to. I want to do something that encompasses everything. So and everybody was gonna like. So my shit's generational. I got kids, fool. Right now, they're fucking six, seven years old. Now, the song was released in 2010. Yes. Six, seven years old, eight years old. That when they meet me, they're like, oh, and they fucking love it, right? Because they they seen it. And I'm not even a fucking big, I'm not Khalid or nobody. But they're, they're like, they're excited. But that's a fucking seven, eight, eight-year-old kid who loves my music now. Mm-hmm. Why do they love my music? Well, because his older brother liked his music, my music. And their parents like my music. Yeah. So, But that kid, 30 years from now, when I'm gone... He's still going to be like, hey, there's this dude from El Paso. Like when I was growing up and he had these videos. Yeah. And look, you know, and a fucking, it'll fucking be on a hologram. Look at this video. I love my city, Chuco Twist. You know, they know he's from El Paso. You know what I mean? That's my legacy, fool. True, true. My shit's generational. Like I'll go to fucking Cathedral High School right now and they're going to be excited as fuck when they see me. All those kids were fucking five years old when I fucking did that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But they that's fucking dope. love it. Well, I was going to say, that's actually Generational, cool. fool. Yeah, that's cool that you say that, though. That you talk about how it's elementary or whatever. Because we know we, when, we, when you released that, we were yeah. pretty young. And we, of course, we clown on you and everything. Yeah, oh, everybody so did. But the and thing it, is that it sticks expected. in your head. It's expected. <laughs> I would, shit, I would, like, I would you tell identify. people, like, oh, my cousin fucking raps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, on like the that. fucking... <laughs> yeah. He's on, the, he's on YouTube and shit. Because it was that one. And then the other one, the Street Loonies. You see, but this is what yeah. happened. So nobody was doing it. So when that came out, a bunch of people were like, that's trash. Well, I can do better. And what was my answer? Let's do do it. better. Right, right. So that's when, after that, a bunch of people started doing music, started making videos and shit, and it's gotten better. Sure. If you see a video from some of the dudes now, and then you see a video from five years ago, mm-hmm. the fucking, the difference quality. is there. The quality's up, right? Shit happens. It's, somebody motivates you. You start doing shit like this. You start right. buying microphones and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as, well, I can do better. Half of the ones that are rapping now did it because they, they thought I was a piece of shit. And half of them did it because I fucking... I got, I got clandestino over there in motherfucking and, and, and Sur Mexico. What's up, fool? He started rapping because he heard my shit. Mm-hmm. And he got, all right, cool. So he's like, I can do this. Like, some people started rapping because they like me. Some people started rapping because... They, but you know what happened? Everybody started doing it. That was my fucking goal yeah, right like there. Like the trailblazer. That was my goal. Like the EP brand too. We started up. We wanted something... For El Paso people to wear. So now there's a bunch of people that are doing it. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. So I named the next shop EP Brand. Mm-hmm. Now, Nate, now now that motivates somebody that was doing t-shirts after I started doing t-shirts. Now they should put up a store that 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 caters just to that fucking clothing like I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got a fucking next level Find shit. Your niche. And they're catching up. I started doing those tattoos with those tattoo guns. Then they started doing it too, and you just gotta fucking be ahead nobody, of everybody. Nobody does it. Nobody. Do, nobody was doing it actually. It no. was really recent that you would see actual pride of being yeah. from El Paso. Like it was. And I'm not the only one that did because when I started doing it, people didn't make fun of it. But then more people started doing it, and more people started getting. And this is, but somebody had to plant the seed. I, I consider myself like. You pioneer, know, like when man. there's like a fucking, remember when you were in sixth grade or seventh grade and there was a fucking school dance mm-hmm. and like you walked in there and it's already been two hours, but all the girls are you here started the dance. and all the dudes are over here. Remember I told you that yeah, one? Yeah, I get you, get you. And then like that one kid, que le valía verga, Fuck. everybody made fun of him, <laughs> but he fucking goes into the middle and he starts, starts fucking dancing. just like, you start doing the chuco twist. Yeah, starts dancing and shit. And then like one of the girls comes and everybody starts dancing and everybody was like, half of the people were like, that's a pinche meco. Like, I wouldn't do that shit. And half of the people were like, oh shit, he's doing it. Like, fuck it, let's go do it. And maybe not even half, maybe just like 10 people. But they go, and everybody, and that's what happens, fool. Yeah. That's, why I, I, that's why I see myself as like, I know people are going to make fun of me, fool. Chuko twist, fool. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it right. I twist, I twist, I twist, I but do that. Chuko twist, it sticks. And, but I know, I know a lot of people made fun of that shit. My homeboy, uh, Rascal, you're never getting out, homeboy, but I fucking love you. I remember when he heard that song, he's got two last sentences about parole. Uh, sure. I remember I put it out and he comes, he goes, Hey, crazy. It's on my mother. Get away. Just get twist. I was like, fool. Watch. Yeah. And then fucking, it's Chuko <laughs> twist, fool. It's Chuko's, man. Right? If you so, have, it, I like what you said. If you have something better, then do, pues, do better. Way. But to this day, 
Nobody has made another song like that. Okay, Khalid doesn't count, motherfuckers, right? Thank you. But nobody has made a a, a, a song <laughs> born and raised in El Paso yeah, yeah. about El Paso that has even more views than mine. That's true. There isn't. Thank you. Because you there, rip man. it, you rip it hard, and like a motherfucker. And that's to a point where it used to be. It used, when I started doing side by side, we would go out there and people, are like, you're from El Paso, right? Remember, he went to the first one. He was like, you're from El Paso. It's like, damn, like. I ain't never seen nobody from El Paso out here like, yeah, fool. I'm on the fucking bar singing and shit. I turned a negative into a positive. You were there, remember? The, was that the second time? When I was in the back room and I got on the bar and I started singing, people started coming to the back. Oh, yeah. On 6th Street. Mm -hmm. So, like, the, 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 the schedule was fucked up because they weren't organized. I was supposed to go on, like, at 12, right? And if you ever been to South by Southwest, there's our people there already all day. And then they're like, hey, you know, you're going to have to cut you out because, like, the stage is not set up yet and we got these other bands. And I was like, man, fuck that. I'm going to do my shit. And he's like, whoa, I don't know where you can do it. I go, man, I just need a, I just need to plug in my fucking computer. Yeah. And they're like, well, there's another part of the bar in the back. See, see, see. There's another bar back there. You can do it back yeah. there if you want. I go, come on. We fucking went back there, plugged that bitch in, and, and it starts through the speakers. Now, everybody's on, on 6th Street, mm -hmm. and they're passing by, and there's nobody's playing nothing, mm -hmm. but you just start hearing, I love it. I love my motherfuckers. Too. And what happened, fool? People started coming in like, oh, shit, he's back here. And they walk in. I'm on top of the fucking bar. It wasn't even a stage. I'm on top of the fucking bar just fucking seeing it. People start fucking coming That's in cool. and filling it up. When you when you just just fucking do it, man. Too many people are scared of consequences that are. What's the worst gonna happen? Somebody's gonna laugh at you, and what? Yeah. And what? No duele. A la verga. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck his old lady. Like, <laughs> like for real. A lot of those dudes. <laughs> hey, and it happens too. It'd be like, ah, bitch, you crazy you know, Why even like his music? And she's like, I don't really like it too much. He's over inboxing me like, hey, what's up? Like, hey. Like, fool, look, man, the number one thing that you need in this world is motherfucking confidence, fool. Yep. And if you don't give a fuck, if you don't give two fucks about fucking somebody thinks or says, do what you do, man. Somebody's And I always said, I'm going to keep making music as long as somebody's listening. Remember? Then I get fucking Spotify verified and I fucking go into my phone and my shit's being spun daily in fucking Europe and in fucking... And I'm like, it's crazy that those, those cities have a lot of love for Western music. Pe like people that you don't think would have a a good following, they go over there and they tour big fucking yeah. arenas and shit. Yeah, it's like oh shit. Like, and I'm just a fucking a fucking chavo here that 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 is is I'm I went and I performed in Amsterdam music about El Paso fool. Right, that's awesome, who's man. been out there? In El Paso? Look, let me show. I'm gonna show you right now. This is just one song on one app. Uh -huh. Well, music is on, on what? My music is on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, Amazon, name it. My Sound music is on. Cloud. This is one app, one song. School you. <coughs> on one app, right? In the last, in the last, let me see. Oh, shit. Coming, coming soon. Well, this one song spins in the last 28 days in this one podcast 66 times in your daily mix 37 times. That's two out of four playlists. They, they they show in the past 27 days, uh -huh. it had like 100 and, 147, 147 spins just in one city. Like, it breaks it down. So that's people listening, that's fool. Crazy. Are you going to come out with some new shit or what? Yeah, well, my videos, uh, I got the one for El Paso. I had to postpone the filming of it because it got cold. Oh, shit. But you haven't heard El Paso, fool? No. Wait. You should link it, fool. Okay, we'll link it. Hashtag El Paso? Is that the one? Yeah, that's I've heard one. that one. That one and two it's fucks. That's uh, it. It's on YouTube, I think. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It's also on iHeartRadio and iTunes. All right. We'll do a little bit. Hey, look. Yeah, we'll do, you want me to play it? Or you want me to... Or we can link it. Yeah, I'll link it in the bottom. But I know you got to go, man. Link these nuts. Stoop. But uh, hey, man, look. Okay, hey, dude. <laughs> hey, nah, though, something to say. <laughs> we, we respect your hustle, link man. Link these nuts, fucker. <laughs> nah, we respect it's, how you represent, man. Yeah, definitely 100%. And... I have nothing but good things to, to say about you. Like you keep yawning like that, a dick's gonna go in there. I'm down. What's wrong with that? What? I'm uh, down. Anything you want to plug? <laughs> anything you, you want anti-gay or something? Your handles. Oh my shit. god! What's wrong with sucking yeah, no dick? No shit, huh? What's wrong with sucking? Right, you go ahead if you want to, motherfucker. I'm conservative. I, I don't here? care what you do. I don't <laughs> have gag reflex. Is that a good thing? <laughs> 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 
It's a desirable trait. I don't have a, a gag reflex. Is that a good How'd you find out you don't have a gag reflex? I don't want to find out. Second <laughs> Hey, how do you... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the most fun way. How do you find out you don't have a gag reflex? I was trying to make myself throw up. You've never thrown up. You don't get brain Oh, yeah, freezes, but I'm, I can't make myself throw up. Or brain freeze. I can't get a brain freeze either. No? No. He's a mutant. I think I'm You just, know why brain I don't freeze have no happens? brain. Why does it happen? I have no brain. Because uh, you're taking all that cold that actually freezes up the capillaries in your fucking mouth mm -hmm. and it stops the blood and then it, it just pushes through and... Oh, shit. Sounds yeah. painful. Interesting. It's yeah. like a Snapple fact. Yeah. <laughs> like a, some buildup and shit and boom. Um, That's how you get a brain freeze. Yeah, so do you want to plug anything or anything like that? Well, Your Twitter and shit. I want to plug my... Oh, oh. I was okay. Whatever. Uh, just Google me, Mr. Crazy Chuko Town. You can see all my social media on there because I'm Google verified. Um, <laughs> just throw that in there. Um, yeah, my Instagram, my Snap, my TikTok, my fucking. It's all the same thing. Just Google Mr. Crazy Chuko Town and you'll see all that shit right there. All right. right there. All right. Right. And you guys that right can there. always keep track of Tregula's podcast on Instagram, <laughs> TikTok, <laughs> all that good shit will be <laughs> in the description. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Crazy, <laughs> thanks for being here, man. Huh? Let's end it up with some flow. Hey. 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 I got a little dick, but I don't give a fuck. What? What? Damn. What? I got a little dick, and I still fucking fuck. What? 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 Fucking bad bitches. No fat bitches, skinny fucking bitches, all these bitches, taste little dick, real fucking dick. He's got fucking a small butt and fucking does a fucking trick, huh? I'm a motherfucker, like to eat that pussy, whoa, whoa. Fucking eat that fucking pussy, whoa, like, whoa, whoa. It's a fucking salad. Let me talk to you. Fucking Hina, I'm a motherfucking jerk, dick. Little one, but she broke it one time. <laughs> He's got a little dick, and doesn't give a fuck. That was the chorus in that the says back. It all. It's actually two because. <laughs> He's you know what I mean? Dicks. I don't give a fuck, but also it's little, so you don't really fuck. He's so. got two little dicks, and he doesn't give a fuck. The two big balls, and they really fucking drop. Huh? Uh, Wait, Webbles. The big, 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 big Webbles. What? Big Webbles. The big, big Webbles. Huh? Big Webbles. The big, big Webbles. What? Big, 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 big Webbles. Because I haven't jacked webble. off in a while. That's a bunch of big. We your motherfucking balls in this fucking bitch. We your fucking big balls in this fucking bitch. Toss a wrong women out this motherfucking Huh. I'm a motherfucker. Mm. Yes, I fuck bitch with well, kids. I don't well, give a fuck. Well, bitch, well, well, fucking bitch, they can want well, that fucking dick. Well, they can take it, take it, take it. So fucking dick, little bit it does. Listen, man, my favorite line is still. If you don't like to lick my nuts, there's my dingling. That's like it says it all. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Things, this is what I bring. This is what I bring. You, you don't, don't like it, lick my balls, it's my dingle. That's it. It's perfect. It's right. The perfect line. He's the one that recorded me. Big huevo, big huevo. <laughs> Big huevo con un pelo. Me lo rasuro. <laughs> so you don't pluck it? Está más duro. You don't pluck it? Está más yeah, duro. You don't pluck it? You don't pluck it? Me lo rasuro con la cero. Me pico en la mujer. Oh, shit. Me lo rasuro con la cero. Me pico en la mujer. Okay, okay. And with that, check it guys later. Peace. Fuck themselves. <laughs>